Well, that was just about a perfect song ending to get this thing started. Good morning. Welcome to Feedback Friday with your host, Jacob Billy, CEO of Bill Enterprises, and this is another stream all about you. So let's go ahead and jump on this bad boy and it kind of lagged a little bit. That's kind of weird. All right. Boom. Here we are. So again, welcome, welcome. I'm going to say hi to everybody here, and then we're going to go ahead and get the party started so uh we have quite a few new people in the group if you are new oh my gosh i got so many follow trisha davidson thank you so much for the follow i appreciate you so i'm gonna go ahead and say hi to everybody and we're gonna get the party started so we got rv kids tv in the house rv kids how you doing great to see you we got the haley family uh that's here that came over from rv kids tv stream last night a great great family got to see the kiddo the wife the husband everybody there uh testing their new streaming service they're using Streamyards out there for panels uh very very cool to see you guys in here today we got happy place diaries coming in saying what's up all what's going on how you doing dr detectorus is here how you doing, man? How's the channel going over there? I haven't been able to catch some of your most recent work. How's, how's life over there? You got uh, KRN Gaming Zone coming in here for support. And uh, hopefully they saw that message. We got TJ Schaefer in the dub C coming in with a $10. Holy shit. We're getting started already today. Thank you so much for that, my friend. Thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate it. Matter of fact, Dub C, uh, your channel is now priority uh, for Be The First Channel Review today, if you would like that. Uh, greatly appreciate that. We got TJ Schaefer in the house. TJ Schaefer is getting ready to start his streaming journey. Super, super excited. I'm not sure if he's primarily doing YouTube or Twitch, but definitely go over. He's actually a friend of mine in real life. He's a great dude. Uh, and he's going to be uh, streaming some games. So you can definitely run over there uh, and check out his channel. And uh, and he's trying to get off the ground here as fast as possible. Uh, we have Raven's Nest, another great gaming channel. Does a lot of uh, a lot of Twitch stuff. Has a great gaming community. Uh, has a big Destiny 2 guild that he's trying to rebuild. Also an entrepreneur. He's got his own skateboard brand. Real cool guy. Uh, he's been here. Been a huge supporter of my channel. Uh, great to have you here. It's a date's here. Uh, saying that we work for the time zone. Because it's a date you're in africa right if i remember correctly um great great channel if um i would love to show some of her work here soon um they do a lot of relationship a lot of advice their their videos their creativity their editing is spot on really really entertaining videos i love them as a couple they're good people we got reagan brown reagan brown says she applied for a social media management position so let's go wish her the best of luck of getting into that new position we're sending prayers and and uh, good energy and good vibes over your way, Reagan Brown. I hope you can knock it out of the park and get that. I uh, got several people that are coming in and out a little bit earlier. I'm not sure if they're still here. We got Lebby's Gamer Pro in the house. Uh, we got Alien Workshop is also in the house. That's a new name that I'd love to get to today. If you're still here, we got Gork, uh, Gork Halley Vines. Uh, in here. Uh, hopefully you're still in. If you are, we'll go ahead and get to you. And True Allegiance Flag Company is coming. Sega. True Allegiance Flag Company is also a new uh, a new member on the channel. Does some amazing, amazing woodwork. Also a former Marine. Uh, good to have you here, brother, and uh, great to see you. Uh, my Little Money Mindset's in the house. What's up, my brother from another mother? Uh, that my my daughter absolutely loves him. We call him Uncle Money. Great finance channel. Uh, also a big supporter in the YouTube community. So very cool. Nick P is in here. What's up, Nick P? Good to see you again, brother. And uh, let's see. I think I'm all. Uh, uh, what's up? Uh, I got pen and paper. <laughs> Dempsey said I got a pen and paper ready for notes. I'll try to help you best I can. Also, too, the nice thing about Feedback Friday is that everybody can also give feedback on content. I'm not a content person. My content is not the best. Um, it's just not my strong suit. More, mine is more of my message than my content. But um, but yeah, we'll, we'll help. I mean, it's, it's a big community effort. Big community effort. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, 21090 Bruin. Hey, man, I haven't seen you in a while, brother. How you doing? Good to see you. How's the channel doing? How's the business doing, man? It's been a, been a while. All right. So uh, getting uh, taking a look. Uh, you hit that like. Well, thank you. Thank you for hitting that like. I appreciate you. All right, um, so first channel up is going to be uh, Dub C that came in with a $5 donation. So let's get the party started. Moderators, can I get a moderator? Please drop me a link uh, to Dub C. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and start off the Feedback Friday with that channel in review. 
And I do appreciate the likes, guys. We got about 22 watching right now. Uh, we got some on DLive as well as on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. And uh, stick around. If you're new here and you've not had your channel reviewed, let me know. Uh, priorities go to those that donate and then goes to new and then goes to everybody else. Uh, and these streams will typically run from about 8, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to normally about... 11 or 12 and then i'll have my power networking segment from 2 to 5 uh, fridays are a very busy day for me on on uh on youtube so uh it's all over the place uh i'm three weeks old i so i have a lot to learn that's awesome it's always good i i really wish that there was a service like what i do when i started um that's why i've decided to do this because um it's it's difficult and the nice thing is is that i have i mean i can dedicate my time really wherever i want uh, because I'm self-employed and I outsource a lot of the work uh, that I get contracted to do. So uh, I was able to kind of dig into it a little bit more. Just Some people just don't have the time, which is perfectly fine. That's why you go to resources uh, to help you out with that. Um, Sarah F. Sarah F., good to see you. I've been wanting to catch, I saw that you guys had that big stream over there on, I think it was Sweetie's channel. Uh, I really want to join you guys last night, but dude, I was so hungover yesterday. I was hurting. I actually ended my power networking a little bit early. Uh, and then I went and did uh, and helped out uh, RV Kids TV with their stream setup. And um, and that was it for me. And I was in bed. I was absolutely, I was a wreck yesterday. It was bad. It was really bad, but good to see you. All right, Raven's Nest, thank you for that, my friend. All right, so this is a newer channel. This is Dub C. And uh, Dub C, definitely talk about yourself, promote yourself, tell people where you're from, who you are. And uh, typically the channel reviews will be about 15 to 30 minutes per channel. So there's a lot of info. Typically the first few are the longest. Um, and then because there's normally always common problems almost always common problems and so uh further on in the reviews they get a little bit shorter because i'm kind of like beating a dead horse a little bit um but again i mean anything that you guys see on your end that i can improve uh either information delivery uh, or how it's set up or whatever again this is just this is just as so much as your guys's channel as my channel you know uh without my community without my viewers um i would have zero success here so um any suggestion you guys you do have during my streams especially feedback fridays and power network Working, uh, let me know and uh, I will try to incorporate it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put up the, the capture here. Oh yeah, I, I hit it well. Yeah, that was that was like my last like hurrah, man. And then after I was done with you, bro, I went to bed. I was done. I feel like a million bucks today, but yesterday, man, I was sucking. All right, here we go. So this is RV Kids TV. So first and foremost, right? I mean, you always have to look at your YouTube channel as a business. Now, if you're only three weeks old and you're almost 150 subscribers, congratulations. That's really, really, really good. Um, you're, you're doing well. I mean, I like to average. I try to hit about when I was first starting. Um, I've saturated a lot of different spaces, so I'm actually going to be looking at to doing additional networking uh, and additional promoting of my channel since I've saturated a lot of the a lot of the groups, especially the networking groups that I'm part of. Um, so I'm looking at expanding as well. But a really good thing is trying to aim for 10 a day. You know, 10 a day is a really, a really good goal to get started. And just like with anything, like you're going to have, especially in what's called an incubator stage of business, where you're going to explode, right? So you're hitting your warm markets, right? Your friends, your family, uh, groups that you're in, people that you know, people that are, are going to be more willing to support you. So you'll see that really dramatic growth. Uh, in the very early part of your cycle, and then you'll start stagnating. That's where the marketing comes into play. That's where advertising comes into play. That's getting you outside of your sphere of influence. And so you want to keep this growth going. And you're just about ready to hit 2,000 views uh, on eight videos. Now that's great. That's great. You know, that's a that's a pretty good. So that you're averaging what 200 views a video right now, uh, or more actually than that. So that's excellent. So that's actually a lot better view count wise than when I started with. Um, but again, I didn't have much of a warm market at all. I pretty much started this from scratch. Um, I didn't have a huge social presence. My business did, but not me as a person. That's why I'm doing my self branding. So that's really cool. Uh, Andre McLennan is in the house. What's up, man? I saw that you did a, uh, uh, you did a video on your channel not too long ago. Um, uh, that was really interesting. I'd like to touch up on here a little bit later. Um, yeah, the weight loss journey is a real cool one too. But uh, so first and foremost, congratulations to what you've got going on already. That's great. Now we're going to look at trying to improve this. First and foremost is going to be brand recognition, right? Get a brand, get a logo. You know, that's huge. Brandability is huge um, with any business. So you want to have whatever Dub C stands for. 
uh, or you know looking at name change or whichever. Um, I'll, the reason why my channel's name is Jacob Billet is because I'm getting away from Billet Enterprises and showing people that there's actual people behind companies. You know, as a CEO, I'm still a person. You know, and so that's why I'm doing the individual brand, uh, brand ability of my channel. Now, if you have a company or um, or whichever, however your business model is, you definitely want to incorporate that, and then you want to put that on this banner. Now, if you don't know how to do banners, banners are really, really, really easy. I use a program called Snappa. Now, uh, Snappa cost me 15 bucks a month. I'm not super satisfied with it. I may go back to Canva. So Canva, it's really easy. www.canva.com, right? You pull this up, you'll log in, it's completely free. The only thing you pay for if you want to get like prints done of your stuff, right? You go to Canva, you're going to click create a design. You're going to go down to your YouTube channel arts. So it already has the, the dimensions and everything predetermined for channel art. Then you'll pull it, put up whatever picture that you want, right? And then you can do, um, you do, I don't know, uh, dub, uh, dub c and then you can go dub c mres or whatever right and so now boom you got brand ability you have a title or something there that's and again you can design it or do whatever you want completely free download it completely free it doesn't cost you any money uh, now you put that up as your banner you don't have to resize it you don't have to crop it you don't have to do any of that crap it's immediately up there and again you can use the same background whatever but at least now you have a brand and then now with your uh, with your um, uh, favicon or your uh, uh, icon right here uh, then you would put in like WC MRE or WC whatever your branding is going to be um, and so now you're recognizable now you're imprinted right so um, so the human brain will absorb information from pictures about 600% faster than text that's why things like Instagram are super popular and uh, images and GIFs and uh, uh, and memes and all that stuff. That's why they're so popular because we can pick up the information on that picture very fast. And so that picture keeps coming over and over and over. You can get identified faster if you have a brand than people that don't have a brand. And so hopefully you'll get that authority, that brand awareness, and people will see your content more. So that's a really, really big one. Second uh, what a, hey, a doorbell, what's going on? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a bit either. Uh, yeah, so uh, happy, happy Place Diary. So I use Canva for all my banners and thumbnails. Yeah, it's, it's a really good one. It's a real good one. Um, I, no, don't add numbers. No, 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 no. Uh, numbers, some people can get away with it, but it's really, really, really hard. You want something unique. Something unique, so for example, if you decide to make a web page uh, uh, or have a blog or anything like that outside the YouTube space, now you've got the same name throughout all the different platforms. And again, that's brandability. You want to have consistency in your branding. Um, so that's that's a really good one. Hey, Goose Cowboy, a.k.a. Quicksilver. What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, so all of that is, is what you want. Do you want to have consistency? Again, so, so a person here that's really good at branding uh, is from the Geek Den. Right uh, from the Geek Den uh, has his branding, he has his YouTube page, he has his Facebook page, um, and I'm not sure he's in web development. He understands how brandability works. I don't know if he has a website or not. I haven't seen it, but he probably does. Um, you want to stay consistent. Again, that's that brand awareness. You know, that's why McDonald's and, and Taco Bell and Burger King and all those companies do really well because everybody knows what that is. You know, there's there's no there's no competition for that for that space for that name. So that's a, hey, Mad Mad Serpents, good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's something that I would, I would definitely recommend next is, and this is going to sound really, you know, really basic, like basic bitch stuff, but this is really important right here on your right hand side. This is a space that if you added your social media links, it will display them right here and they just won't be displayed as names. They'll be displayed with actual clickable links. People are lazy. A lot of people, if they can't directly link to social media, they're more than likely not going to search you. Now, I'm really active on searching because I believe in networking. I want to connect with people. I don't learn about people. I want to get my face in front of more eyes. Impressions, 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 impressions. I want to get my content out to everybody. And so if they're a part of my community, I connect with them and I can learn about them. They can learn about me. 
They'll become raving fans. They'll be supporters. You know, they'll come in here and spend you know two three hours of their life. And again, that that generates ad revenue for me. That could uh, that could generate potential sales for my company, uh, shares, likes, the whole nine yards. So it's all about leveraging your audience and leveraging the relationships that you have. Relationships are very important. People like to see an RV Kids TV and myself. We're talking about this last night. People want to actually see you. You know, uh, everything that's 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 super polished and fake and scripted stuff like that. People are getting really tired of it. People, that's why reality TV is so popular, even though most of that crap's scripted. You know, but again, there's YouTubers that are really really creative. Matter of fact, you know, it, it's crazy because. I'm a business and finance channel. That's what my channel is about. You know what my most popular streams have been? Have been my gaming streams. It's crazy. I'm not a gaming channel. I'm not a gamer. I suck at playing video games, right? But I'll go off. I'll blow off some steam. I'll have a couple beers, and I'm just myself. And I cuss, and I'm obnoxious, you know, because I really get into stuff. I'm super competitive. And uh, people love it. People absolutely love it because they're, they come in and they go, it's really cool to see this side of you like you're having fun. And I stay professional for the most part. My streams are not as professional as my videos. You know, my videos are, are, are pretty professional, even though the editing sucks, right? But um, they just, they come in and they just, they, they, lo they love the raw, uncensored, I'm having a good time and I'm screwing around and, and, and I'm incorporating the people in my stream and they, they, they absolutely love my gaming streams. Now, I'm not a gaming channel and I'll more than likely be doing that just solely on Twitch now. Um, but that's something that, you know, will be successful for me if I decide to do that. And so that's, that's a big one. So, so anyways, getting your social media links up here and getting a professional Facebook page. I cannot stress it enough. A professional Facebook page will allow you to see your impressions. You're allowed to promote. You're allowed to market. You, there's way more data to see what the performance of things are. Plus, you can link them to different things. And if you decide you want to keep your personal life private, you know, you can keep your, your, your personal Facebook page um, to where, you know, you don't do any promoting on it. It's just for friends and family and pictures or whatever, because there's a lot of people like that. Um, you can have your professional one to where you can control your content a little bit more, especially if like you're in the political sphere and stuff like that. And you don't want to put that out to the world. And for example, you know, I don't talk a lot about politics on my page because that's just something that now on my personal page, I absolutely do. I, I, I am politically uh, motivated on several things on my private page. I just don't do that publicly because it's a very, it's a very, um, the way that politics are right now, it's very polarizing. And so people will just, will absolutely attack you if you don't believe in their parties. And so, um, and so I just kind of keep that out. Um, so anyways, these are all big, hey, Jelly Duck 100 in the house. Jelly Duck, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Um, yeah, per professional is good. And, and if you guys aren't familiar, um, I'm just going to show this to you guys really quick. Um, this is my um, this is my private, obviously, um, and then this is my prof and again I'm super transparent, so I don't care about showing you guys personal stuff. Like it doesn't matter. I'm, you know, I'm, you can you can investigate me very easily if you really wanted to. So I don't hide anything. Um, so this is my professional page, right? Which is really nice because you can actually go up to your analytics on your professional page. You can create events for like your streams and stuff like that. Get it out to an audience. Uh, but the really nice thing is that when you have a professional page. You can really pull up the raw data. You can look at your demographics, what markets that you're targeting, how your performance is in. My performance on YouTube has been kind of poor as of late. Uh, I've been really, really busy this week. Uh, but you can really see kind of where your engagement, where your reach is, what your impressions are, how your followers have been. So I'm really big on trends. So I like to see, okay, what's been doing good, what's been doing bad. Uh, typically when I post something about my kid that does well, um, but it just, it, it allows me, it allows people to know me a little bit more personally. And with that, that's a big deal on YouTube. That's why I'm so big on YouTube when it comes to businesses, because for me, they can understand my business at more of a personal level because I'm the one who owns it. I'm the CEO. Well, me and board of directors and shareholders own it. Um, so they can really kind of see me more for who I am. And so they'll, they'll more trust the process if they decide to, to con uh, contract my business or get services and stuff like that. And so this stuff is really, really, really important. And you can see what's been working, what hasn't been, and just gives you another way to market to your audience. So professional Facebook pages are absolutely worth their weight in gold. And the nice thing is that if I decide I want to do an ad, right, I can create an ad and target people who want to see the content that I do. Right. So 
for example, you know, I don't know how much I paid for this. I think I was paying like two bucks a day or something like that. Uh, but it drove 11 people that actually came and subscribed to my channel, you know, on YouTube. It's not a lot, but it's still something. And I was only targeting people with this ad. I was only targeting people that were actually following my my professional Facebook, um, but we're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. So this was just targeting people that follow me on Facebook, my professional page, but have not connected with me there because I knew that my uh, my conversion rate would be fairly high. And that's why I did that. And again, you can target it however you want to target it. Um, so again, and it's free, it doesn't cost any money, super easy to set up. You can, you can uh, connect it and link it to everything and, and go from there. Um, <clears throat> uh, code alt q uh coming at jelly ducks channel how you doing um all right so uh that's all important next is your channel tags right channel tags channel tags channel tags the golden ratio is about 15 to 30 channel tags uh you want this to be encompassing you want this to be uh the overall scope of your channel this is the big one this is like uh for for example from the geek didn't you know this seo for web page building these are going to be like your seo cornerstones like these are going to be Again, these are going to be the general topics that you discuss, and then that the video links or the video keywords on your videos, um, you want that to be related to what your channel is, and that's what's going to build you that web authority. You know, and that web authority works on web pages and blogs just like it works on YouTube. You know, the more content that you have that's, that is involved, for example, with MREs uh, for, for this niche, the more content you put out that has that similar tags that related to each other, um, the more that it's going to rank your channel and your videos up because you have more and more information on a particular subject, and that's what builds that authority. And then if you have a good brand, that brand awareness is going to go ahead and drive more traffic that may not have seen you before, but now you're an authority on the subject. They see your brand. They see your thumbnails. That's why I'm really big on consistent thumbnails because on those thumbnails, people can say, oh, that's Dub C. I want to see more of his content. I like the content that uh, he's put out before. I didn't know that he had this video. I didn't know that he covered this particular MRE or whichever. And so all oh, that's really, really important. So channel tags 15 to 30. You're not, you can't over optimize. You can't, you won't be punished for stuffing or anything like that. Like that um, this is something that you can really because you want YouTube to recommend you you want YouTube to recommend your channel with people that are searching for the keywords that your channel is about that's what you want you want that discovery um, so let's see here uh, make fish but okay I'm just guessing my chat real quick uh, Code OK, uh, you released a new album yesterday man we might have to take a look at that all right so we got that oh and again playlists Playlists are a big deal. So if you're doing MREs or whichever, um, I would do uh, a, a playlist for MREs or MRE reviews or whichever, and then put in like a micro blog, 300, 500 characters, uh, talking about what that playlist is about. All that data that you put into YouTube on Google, it has to get crawled. It has to get indexed. So the more data that you put in, in your description, in your playlist descriptions, whole nine yards, uh, that's going to allow uh, the AI to see that's more quality content and it'll rank you up higher. So all that's super important. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, and again, get playlists. Playlists are very important. Because this right here, the up the default uploads playlist is the exact same as your videos tab, right? It's the same thing. So that's duplicate information. So you want people to come here when once they're on your page. This is this is your elevator pitch. This is where you're gonna where you're gonna nail them. This is where you're gonna get them. And so what a lot of people will do, and what I highly recommend, is that you also have an autoplay welcome video. Right to where if somebody comes to your channel and they see all this and boom they hear something. Hey, what's going on? My dub, my name's Dub C, and on this channel I do this and this and this. Thanks for stopping by. I post videos. This, 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 blah, whatever. It's a real short elevator pitch. Mine's really long because I cover a lot of crap on my channel. Uh, but I will be redoing again my welcome videos. I have a welcome video and then I have a subscriber video. So if you're not subscribed to me, that's my pitch to get you to subscribe to me. And if you are subscribed to me, it's my pitch to say thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Blah blah. If there's anything that I can do better, let me know, blah, 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 right? So you want to have those. Again, this is your pitch. This is, right now, somebody's looking at you. This is time for you to peacock, man. Right, get the peacock feathers. And you're just like, take a look at me. Take a look at me. Like, right, mate with me, whatever your goals are on YouTube, right? So, <laughs> so that's what you, that this is your peacock stage. And you're only going to have them for a few seconds. And if they like what they see, then they may watch some videos. Uh, if not, uh, they're going to leave. 
So, um, and again, another thing, and I don't know if you are membered here, you are. Cool. So there's a site called Social Blade. If you guys don't know this, Social Blade, it's, it's just socialblade.com. It's really, it's really, really, really simple. Uh, but you can come on here. And again, I'm a big data junkie. And so this ties into Social Blade ties into your YouTube, your Twitch, your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Daily Motion, Mixer, and DLive. So you can actually track and get report cards. Uh, of your performance and how you're doing, uh, as well as raw data. Now, the data is not always 100% accurate uh, because it switches the data over at a different time on Social Blade as it does on YouTube. And so the data is not going to match up directly, but it's close. And so you can pull yourself up, pull up Jacob Billets. I'll just pull myself up real quick. Um, and you can take a look at um, how your channel's doing. And so if you don't have a membership, it's really easy. And there's a bunch of Jacob Billets out there. Um, but you can take a look at, and you can pull anybody up. It's just not yourself. You know, take a look at how many views you're getting throughout the day, your total views, your estimated revenue. The, this right here, the estimated re earnings is, is trash. Don't don't believe that um, because it doesn't take into account a whole bunch of stuff. Just what your what the the average ad sense is in your niche. Uh, but you can really see how many people are coming in and seeing you, what your average subscribers are, the whole nine yards. Uh, and again, just a quick note, if you guys don't know, once you break a thousand subscribers, you only update on Social Blade, it only updates you every 10, right? So if I get one or two or three in a day, it doesn't update that, it's just tens. Now, once you get up to 10,000, then it's every hundred, a hundred thousand is every thousand. So that's how, because they started doing the subscriber abbreviation, and then that's how that works. But again, like even you, Dub C, like we pulled Dub C up. Hey, Cordosa, good to see you, man. Cordosa's got an incredible channel. Incredible channel does great work. Uh, Dub C, I don't see your icon here, uh, but you do have it because I have the Social Blade plugin and I can kind of see where you're at right here. So right now you're having great growth for your size. Great growth and great views. So when it comes to your content and everything, these this is doing really well for you. Now when you get in the SEO game, you're going to be able to uh, get more visibility and continue that growth because new channels do grow very fast, very quickly because of warm market and warm market marketing. So uh, so hopefully that helps you out with that. Uh, let's go and play a video here. Uh, MRA weight loss story. We'll go ahead and play this. All right, we'll play this for a few minutes. What time is it? 829. Okay. Dub here. Today I want to talk Luke about Wilson! Story. Luke Wilson, you liar. You're not Dub C. is basically just going through how I found MRE. Oh, dude, from the Geek Den, you got to check out Cordosa Media. Watch some of his drone footage, dude. That dude is unreal. And he's killing it on YouTube, too. He's doing a great job. Giving me such a, you know, a breath of fresh air. Very positive influence on my life, and I just hope to share that with others. You know? But yeah, some of the best, some of the best drone footage on YouTube, in my opinion. I, I love his footage. Hopefully, they have a positive impact on them, just as it did myself. Hey, Inks, photo. What's up, man? Story. I was flipping through the channels on YouTube. I like YouTube as a learning device. There's a lot of great creators on there, a lot of great information. Um, cautious of some, but I like to filter and just. Check it out because there, I, you can learn how to do many things on YouTube that helps me, you know, fix my computer. Yeah, Dub C is going to be eating you know, a scorpion tomorrow. A, That's a badass. Car, but this all happened to roll through, and I come across a review, an MRE review. And at the time, I didn't know much about MREs. I knew what they were for. I knew the application of them, but I didn't know people would test them out or try them. And... Doesn't he? Doesn't he look like a? Doesn't he look like a cross between like, between like Luke Wilson and like Aaron Hernandez? He's got like the Aaron Hernandez look to him a little bit too. Really shitty what happened to him, man. But come across a, the review. It was Steve, nineteen eighty nine, and I yeah, sexy mofo is what this is. The fact he was opening and just subscribed to this guy just because of his looks. Contents were then hey, welcome back, Andre. It was very. I was very drawn in. So I started. Yeah, no sweat, Dub There's a little bit more that I'm gonna touch on on this. Nathan MRE, G Salt, and you know, all, the, all the big names. And I was like, wow, this, this stuff is awesome. That's cool. Good editing, editing, man. More. Good editing on that. So I ventured out and I wanted to try MRE. So I found a, um, found a way to get a case B. And um, 
I, I will mention that I've, I've talked about this before. We are going to have a guest appearance real quick. I know that Baby's up. Get older MREs, so I spent top dollar to get like 2021 inspection date or something like that. Laid out. <laughs> now I'm buying them from like 2000. Oh, she sees the mouse already. Hi, baby. For a better deal. Oh my god. I, I oh my god, my microphone. Penny, just oh. like, Who's that? That that's that's, that's Luke Wilson. He's famous. So if you are it's a celebrity. Oh, you're grabbing shit now. Oh yes. Oh no. Like, 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 we're grabbing a lot of time in store, <laughs> That's Dub C. I opened this case up and I was ecstatic. I it was like Christmas morning. You know, it, it, just, it was a new new thing. Um, it's your first celebrity. It's your first celebrity you've ever met, huh? Who is that? <laughs> She's like. It was amazing. I don't think I, Open it up and it was like a adult blind bag. I said before, you don't know what you're gonna get. You got your main, your kits. I'm starting to see, you know, that they do have similarities. Go Luke Wilson. They, Go they Luke Wilson. Change up and it's a surprise each time. You might get a first strike. Uh, okay, say bye, baby. You might get a chocolate. You might not get one at all. You might get one. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that change. But after I, t I tasted that chicken brittle bowl, I was instantly hooked. And it did something else for me. When I ate it, and I, I know this might be different for some people, I don't know. But when I ate it, I felt great after eating it. So this is this is something that I think is gonna make you really, really unique. Is that you have you have a story. Like there's a story, and, and the crazy thing is is that nobody, nobody ever, I'm a vet, there's veterans that are here in the chat right now. I have never linked MRE to weight loss ever. And I'm a nutritionist. Well, I, I was a certified nutritionist. I've been certified a couple of years now. Uh, but when I was a bodybuilder and, and, and a competitor, I mean, my, my business was personal training and nutrition. That's what I did. And I retired in 2015 from it. Um, never in a million years would I've ever made this link. And so this is an extremely unique marketing opportunity for you. Extremely unique. Because you have a niche within a niche. So you've got MREs and you've got MREs for weight loss, right? So that's called double niching. So you're already taking a small niche market and now you're extremely specific within that market. And now you've got the appeal of the people that are in the MRE community and a very, very big community, which is weight loss. And so this could be, I mean, th you could put together MRE nutrition programs. You can you can get an affiliate uh, program, uh, or drops or drop ship MREs. So if people are like this is the MRE that I got. You can get this MRE at this website below. It can be your website. So now you're selling MRE products and you're going through the reviews. I mean, you can monetize this many different ways. You know, for example, if I'm like, you know what, I haven't had Chili Mac MRE in a while. I'm kind of curious on where I would get one. I have no idea. Being outside the Army, I have no idea where to get these MREs, but check it out. Watching your channel makes me want to eat another Chili Mac MRE. You know, there were some really good ones. And so if you had a link, and I, I guarantee you this 100%, if you had a link to your web store uh, or to an affiliate program, whichever, that I would that I could get that, I would probably click on it and buy a Chili Mac MRE. Right now, I don't know if they do individuals, but I know they do the cases. And so this is another way for you to market. And you can start going through and marketing yourself to the weight loss community. Because this is something that nobody's ever heard. And I, I hate to say that. I hate to say that. But people that are looking for weight loss, if there's something new they're going to be really interested because it's always about the newest thing, the newest craze, the newest rave, the, the newest, you know, the, the newest thing, the bright and shiny stuff. Weight loss people, uh, people, people in the weight loss community, they, they just like new things, right? Because it's easier, it's more convenient or it's whatever. And so there's a lot, not saying that this is a fad diet, but you're going to get a lot of traffic from people that are fad dieters and hopefully you can capture them and keep them with your program. Uh, happy place diet, yeah, Chili Mac is a or MRE, yeah. So, again, there's a really, really good way that you can market this and make good money. And, again, I'm not all about the money. I'm, I, I hope, I mean, I'm a business person, so money's a big deal, right? It is. Um, but you should be compensated for your time. Time is money. So you doing this video and putting this information out there and sharing your story, that has a financial value. It does. 
and I, again, I, I know people are like, oh, this guy only cares about money sometimes. Again, I'm a business person. I'm going to capitalize on how I can. And again, because that allows me to take this and reinvest it back to provide better services. I can, I, I'm not taking all this money and then going off and, and blowing it on, on hookers and blow or whatever, right? Like, I'm not doing that. This allows me to reinvest my company to just better serve people, you know, and that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about reinvesting in yourself. Um, again, uh, use, uh, my way using MREs, but others can. Uh, yeah, I, I, absolutely. Uh, Haley said a good fad diet. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you don't want to get. I mean, you don't want to get known uh, as somebody who's pushing a fad diet. You know, but the nice thing is that you already have the social proof. I mean, Dub C, you've lost a hundred pounds, dude. You've lost a hundred pounds. Like, and and you've lost a hundred pounds doing this. So the proof is there. You're not a paid spokesperson. You know, you you are allowing people, hey, if you like this information and this is something that can help you, if you click the link below to get your products through here, I get a small composition to help you support my channel and do what I do, right? Uh, Andre says hookers and blow. That's a no-no. This is not Wolf on Wall Street. <laughs> you know, and so that's... Um, yeah, see, TJ Safer even says, yeah, Chili Mac MR. I love uh, Chili Mac, man. That's, that's the shit. Uh, but anyways, that, I mean, you can you can do a lot of good with this, dude. You really, you can. And again, there's nobody, and, and I'm just going to say this, there, there is nobody like you out there right now putting this information out. There is nobody. You are like the only Mohican doing this. And that's good. That's where people go viral. That's where, because there's nothing like you. You, you completely own this space. You can do hashtag uh, MREs for weight loss and you could explode on Twitter and on Instagram and on YouTube and freaking TikTok and all that other crap. I hate TikTok, but TikTok is fucking hot right now. TikTok is on fire right now. People are seeing tremendous success on TikTok with their YouTube channels. It's hot. I just really don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to. So, um, <laughs> so anyways, th this is, this is exciting. This is exciting. Like you could really, you know, you could do the MRE weight loss challenge, you know, I mean, you, you could do so much, dude. I mean, you really can make a lot, you can do a lot doing this here. Uh, Cordoso. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you for being here, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, on, yeah. Andre McLennan said, well, I was deployed. MREs were super good. But, oh my God. The toilet next person. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's how it was. It, it backed me up a lot too. So anyways, uh, on that, content and everything is good. Okay, a couple of key things here, and then move on to the next channel. I got about another five or ten minutes with you. Okay, so next thing, social proof. This is huge. This right here is huge. So a lot of people don't know, and, and I have, I, I can prove this, and I keep, I've been saying this for months now that I'm going to make a video on this. I haven't done it yet. Sorry, guys. Um, but when you take a YouTube URL, when you take a YouTube URL and you post it on Facebook uh, or Twitter, I don't like Reddit. Uh, Reddit is troll haven, but there are some people in some spaces that do really well on Reddit. I'm just not one of them. So when you do that and you post that link, when people like that post, it actually shows the algorithm that your channel, excuse me, your video is getting additional support and attention on competing platforms. This is huge. This is huge, right? You want to get traffic from competing platforms onto YouTube. You're marketing for YouTube. You're pulling people off these platforms to come on YouTube and then YouTube can make money on ad revenue or however else it monetizes your channel, right? Huge, right? So what you want to do is you want to put these links out and you want to get the likes on your page. Now, if you, for example, don't have a big social media influence, that's fine. What you can do is you can go to MRE groups. You can go to weight loss groups. And again, I'm not saying shit post everywhere, but when you, when you spam promote, and I hate that word, but when I take my link, I do a short little, you know, hey, in today's videos, I'm reviewing the Chili Mac MRE, the best MRE ever. You know, you can follow my journey. I've lost 100 pounds on MREs, blah, blah, blah. And then you drop your YouTube URL link, right? 
Now, when you drop your YouTube URL link on Facebook on your private page, right, Facebook actually nerfs it, right? So nerfing means is that it takes away the exposure of the impressions and the visibility of the post. And Facebook, why wouldn't Facebook do that, right? Facebook is already publicly proclaimed. You can Google it. It's very easy. If they've already proclaimed that URL links have got the lowest priority on Facebook, meaning that not a lot of people see it is what it is. And why would they? Why would they promote videos that are on competing platforms when they want people to upload videos on Facebook natively, right? So it makes sense. Like, it makes sense. I mean, I don't blame them. I'd do it too, right? I mean, you're on my platform. I pay all this money uh, for, for videos and for promoting and everything else. Why am I, why am I going to prioritize a, a link that's going to send you somewhere else? Like, I want you on Facebook, I want you to see the ads, and I want you to see everything that uh, that we have, and continue to grow my platform, right? So, um, and so uh, that being said, when you're in these different groups, right, and you're posting your real URL links, and you're self-liking, because the algorithm does not know that you're liking it for yourself or it's other people. So, say if you're a part of ten groups or fifteen groups, right, and then you you do your promo with that caption, you just copy and paste. 10, 15 groups and your personal page. Well, if you are the, even if you're the only person, you're not going to be, but even if you were the only person that are liking that, your video now has 15 likes on Facebook. Doesn't seem like a lot, but a lot of people don't do this. And so when it sees that you've got all these likes on Facebook, the algorithm will rank your video higher. It will push you up in visibility because to the algorithm, you're getting more likes. You're getting you're getting exposure, you're getting attention on competing platforms. So the content must be good. Like you have that base. And so it's actually going to rank your keywords. And I, I've watched it happen in real life. And I, I what I need to do is do a screencast and do it and show you guys the rankings after I share the videos out. Because I get between... I haven't been promoting my power networking too much, but on my videos, I go through a long checklist and my videos will typically get between 50 to 60 likes um, within their first 24 hours on social media. Uh, and it helps a lot with your ranking. So that's a big one. Uh, Lebanese Gear Pro MRE is a meal ready to eat. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big military uh, thing. So uh, my baby's kitchen's here. How you doing? That's another new channel. Um, so though that's really, really big. Second of all, tags, you only have one tag. Now on a mobile device, I think you can only put in 300 characters on a, on a desktop application, like a, an operating system, you can put 500 characters. Uh, but you only have one tag. You need to get these tags up and get rid of the hashtag MRE. Get rid of that. That's not how tags are. What, what your, what your keywords or your tags on your videos is searchable terms. You want searchable terms. This is something that people are going to put in, like uh, MRE review, Chili Mac MRE review, you know, uh, uh, what's, what's some of the other ones? Uh, meatloaf MRE review, um, uh, King Chicken MRE review, whatever the hell it was. I, I don't remember most of them. Uh, sliced Ham MRE review, whatever, right? Um, that's what people are going to naturally search, and you want your keywords to match that right? That's a big one. And then just to wrap this review up, you also want your tags in your description, right? So this right here, there's a lot. Wow, there's a lot of referrals here. Okay. So in your description, what you want, and you can template this. So like about 60% of my descriptions are templates. Um, my power networking and my and my feedback Friday are complete templates because there's really nothing unique, but all of my videos are about 60% text or templates. And it's just copy and paste, and then I'll just talk about what that video is about. What you want to do is you want to add your keywords, right, right, your tags. You need to add them in your description as well. That's going to build the authority. That's going to that's gonna build the SEO. This is called SEO optimization. And so when you do that, you know, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this, this MRE. You know, MREs have blah, 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 has helped tremendously my weight loss journey, blah, 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 because weight loss is also another tag that you want to use. And then I would really start hammering the MREs for weight loss tag because nobody does it. You're going to own that space completely, right? So that's good. You want to own spaces. Uh, and it's very competitive. It's all real estate. You want that real estate. Um, you want to have uh, between 2 to 3% maximum of your descriptive text to include your keywords. If you, if you have more than that, that's considered over-optimization, and that's going to hurt you because that's going to look like more of a, uh, that's more of like SEO abuse. And so you only want about two or three percent of your text to actually be the keywords. And again, you have five thousand characters in your description to fill. I feel roughly about three thousand to thirty-five hundred per post, typically. Power networking, the template's a lot longer. 
uh, because I'm doing attributions to music and so on and so forth. Uh, but you want to incorporate all that in, and that's going to help you with your SEO optimization. Again, SEO, you want to be suggested. You want your tags to appear in the title and description. Title's more important than description. Description's still very important. But you also want to have some of your keywords in your title. Um, and then see what kind of search results that you have and you have no search results. You want to have, want to have at least three to five search results. A search result is when a keyword, when your video ranks on the top 25 of a tag. If you rank on the top 25, that's considered to have a search result. So hopefully all of that makes sense here. Um, and then And then responding and your responses are great. Responding is huge because that doubles your engagement. So even if a video only gets 10 comments and you respond 10 times, now that video has 20 comments. And the ratio, uh, what the hell is it? The ratio is 4%, I believe it is. 4% from views to engagement. That's either likes or comments or whichever, and you're way, way, way more uh, than 4%. So you're well, you're well beating the average. Um, so do you have any questions? And again, this is Dub C, who we're reviewing right now. And we're getting ready to wrap it up. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, so uh, TJ says your overlay is not correct. It's not. Um, so on the overlays, it's actually through uh, Streamlabs. And it's not through YouTube. So like when I get like a super chat, uh, it typically does not show it on the overlay. The overlay refresh sucks. Uh, not happy with the overlay refresh at all. Matter of fact, a lot of the times it doesn't even show the followers. Um, so that's something that I'm working with support to get done because it's actually this particular overlay that's not refreshing how it should. Uh, I do need bear up with my descriptions. I think titles and thumbnails are pretty solid, but certainly have to work. Yeah, and, and thumbnails and titles are very important. You know, they're very, very important. So SEO is not the say all be all either. It helps with everything. Uh, it's like having a Lamborghini, which is your content. You're having a Lamborghini, you're putting in, say, you know, E85 ethanol gas, or you're putting in premium fuel. And you're in first gear compared to like 12th gear, right? So SEO really, it really brings everything together and really gets that more visibility, which a lot of people, visibility is the hardest thing. A lot of people have great content. They have entertaining content. Their thumbnail's good. But the problem is if nobody sees it, it doesn't matter how good your thumbnail is. It doesn't matter how good your content is. It doesn't matter how good your title is. If nobody sees it, that's the problem. Hey, Barry TRC, great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. But again, a lot of people's content is just so good. I mean, there are, you guys have some serious talent out there. Talent I'll never have. You know, just like even with Luke C, right? Or Luke, <laughs> Luke C. <laughs> oh, God, Dub C, Dub C. Oh, my God, I'll tell you what, Luke Wilson all day. Uh, but, yeah, your camera presence is cool, and you're calm, and you're collected. And even though you have, like, no background and no blue screen or green screen or anything like that, it doesn't matter. Like, you do, that's probably the worst place I probably could have paused it on you. Um, but, yeah, man, you've got, you've got something really good working for you, man. Uh, let me get across your donation website related to Streamlabs. Yes. Uh, so here's the thing, and a lot of you guys don't know, uh, is that when you get a super chat or a super sticker going through, say, YouTube, um, a lot of people actually disable that, and they force you to do it through, like, Streamlabs or Cash App or anything like that because um, when you donate through, uh, through YouTube as a super chat or super sticker, um, YouTube actually takes 30% of that. 30%. That's, that's a tremendous fee. Tremendous. You know, and not just that, but it also reports on 1099. And so it's really not a donation, it's a tip that's reportable. So, for example, if, if people go through Streamlabs um, and they donate through Streamlabs, that's considered a donation. So I don't pay tax on it, and I only lose 3% through PayPal. Uh, and you don't have to have PayPal, you can use credit cards, debit cards, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you go through Streamlabs... Uh, instead of getting hit with 30% and reportable, um, because this is a corporate operation, just let everybody know. So all the money that comes in does not go to me, it goes to my corp. And my corp pays me a salary every month. I, I pay myself salary. And so, again, this goes as into a donation. Well, the cool thing is, as a donation, even as a corporation, it's not taxable, right? So I'm not paying taxes on anything, donation-wise. 
uh, through Streamlabs. So a lot of people don't know that. And again, I don't push it too heavily. I'm, I'm happy to get any kind of tip or donation at any time. Uh, but typically after a while, when people get to know me and they trust me, um, they'll just click the website and they'll just donate through the website. Uh, but again, you, all, you have to earn that trust. A lot of people are kind of uncomfortable doing things differently. Uh, but again, as time goes on, hopefully I will uh, maintain my support and get you know multiple donations as time goes on. And then they'll more than likely start going through Streamlabs and then I can actually keep more of their donation instead of, you know. And then not just that, but also uh, YouTube keeps 40 to 60% of your ad revenue too. So it's, uh, it's kind of crazy how that works. Uh, there it's, they make YouTube or Google makes a shit ton of money off YouTubers. It's, un it's unbelievable how much money they make off of us. So anyways, uh, that being said, uh, Luke C, I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so again, whoever's new here, uh, new always gets priority. New channels always get priority. Um, if you want to get moved to the, to the beginning of the list, donate, and then you get, you know, immediate priority. Uh, so if you are wanting a channel review, please let me know uh, in the chat and we'll get to you. Uh, Jacob, it says not to abuse tags, so I was worried about to, no. Uh, so yes, tag abuse is a real thing, but tag abuse, what tag abuse is, is you're putting in tags that's not related to your content. So for example, say, um, uh, say Jumanji 2 is trending, right? The new movie coming out, or I think did come out. Um, so there's a ton of search traffic on, on Jumanji, right? Ton of search traffic, right? And so you do this video and you put Jumanji 2 in your tags because you're trying to get some of that traffic. That's tag abuse. That's against terms of service. Uh, that can get you banned. So that's what abuse is. Um, you have 500 characters of tags that you can use. So make it related to your content, but maximize it. These are all like these are all fishing rods that you're putting in the water to try to get a bite on. So the more rods you have out there, theoretically, the more bites and fish that you're going to bring in. So use that space. Use it. And also go through with this new information, go through over the weekend and re-optimize all of your videos. And you'll be you'll be amazed if you do that, how much more traffic is going to start hitting those videos again. It's like a big refresher, right? And then a lot of people go back and refresh their videos uh, about month uh, every month or every quarter. And so there could be things that are trending that's related to that, uh, that they can revamp their videos and their videos can get more views. Correct. Uh, correct from the Geek Den. Correct. You're absolutely correct. Uh, mobile, I believe, is 300 characters. Uh, operating systems like computers are 500. All right, Haley family. Uh, Haley family's taking off. Sorry, guys. I'm a little, I, get, I get behind on chat when I do reviews, guys. I do apologize because uh, I'm looking at a lot of data. But uh, but I appreciate you you stopping by and saying hi. Uh, Inkspot is back. Inkspot, how you doing, man? Let's see here. Uh, fantastic. For, yeah, no problem. No sweat. That's why I'm here. And I learn. I learn things every day on this platform. I'll tell you what. The SEO and everything is very common throughout multiple platforms, but the community is very different. The community is what makes YouTube very, very different. So, who's next? Who's next? You guys have the floor. Yeah, no, yeah, no sweat, Dubsy. No sweat. And I appreciate the donation today, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Raven said, just updated the uh, panels on Twitch. Sweet, dude. Let's take a look. Yeah, like I said, Dub C, if you have any questions or anything, man, oh, you're always free to hit me up, dude. Yeah, I saw that, Raven. I got you, brother. Look at this. This is, this is good old Twitch, dude. This is good old Twitch. I wonder what Twitch is recommending to me right now. Let's take a look here. Titty, 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 titty. Imagine that. Recommended live channels, nothing but titty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why a lot of people have a hard time with Twitch right now. I mean, I got, I got uh, affiliated really easy. I haven't been on Twitch in two weeks now. 
Um, I just haven't put together the marketing strategy that I want to use, so it's worth my time over there. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what I keep talking about all the time. Like this is this is the shit. This is the shit that creators have to deal with over there. You know, right? Like this, like this. So, uh, and then, but this girl, she do, she's a hustler. This, this gal right here, she's got three thousand people watching her do uh, a gym workout. She workouts almost every day. She's a hustler, dude. She is. She's a model, a whole nine yards. Uh, dude, I, I respect the hell out of her. I really do. She she kills it, and she does it. And there, there's a demand, and, and, and she just makes a freaking killing. Makes a killing off of it. So, anyways, you can't blame these girls. But, again, that that's, that's what you have to compete against. And very large demographic are male users that watch this stuff. So, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, Raven, where are you at, bro? Uh, right. Oops. Oh, crap. I forgot what your numbers are. I'll just have to go to, um, Raven, Raven, Raven. There you are. All right. This is Raven on Twitch here, guys. Uh, graphic designer, also a veteran. Uh, he was a machinist in the army. Let's take a look at your panels. All right, update his panels, he said here. So, oh, okay, yeah. So on on Twitch, on Twitch, uh, the panels is kind of how you get information out. So, um, countdown to a stream um, is. Uh, uh, his Twitter and Instagram, the whole nine yards. So this is cool, you know, about me. Uh, my name, um, my name is my name. The numbers are random and don't mean anything. I was born in 1987. I've been playing games for 28 years. I grew up playing Final Fantasy and Zelda. That's damn right. Final Fantasy is the shit. Love Final Fantasy. And these are the games that he's currently playing right now. So cool, man. Looks good. Uh, you have, um, is this is this template? Is this a, a template of panels? Is that why, um, oh, no, no, it looks like they're clickable. Yeah, they're clickable. Never mind. Yep. Cool, cool. All right, so that was this Raven. I like the panels, though, dude. Panels look good, man. Noise714, what's up? You're buff, brother. Shit. I just wear small t-shirts, man. Don't let it fool you. Don't let it fool you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, Alien says, I wonder why. Yeah, yeah, I wonder, right? Nice. Yeah, so those are all those are all panels that he made. So very cool, man. I like the branding. You know, the, the brand consistency is cool. And, and you're doing that on uh, on everything right now. So that's awesome. Alrighty, so who else wants a channel reviewed? Twitch reviews are a little bit different. Um, I mean, I, I think all the information's here. It's just that there's not a lot of content to go over besides like videos and clips. But uh, this is the this is the overlay that he uses. Let's see if there's any clips here. Oh, no clips. Okay. All right. Uh, this is some Destiny Two that he was out kicking some ass on. There it is. So there's his overlay. Oh no! He paused it. Okay, there it is. Oh, where's the overlay at? But anyway, say so he's got the he's got the raven, right? He's got the raven right there, and then he's got, and then this this pretty much, <laughs> this pretty much when it comes to raven. Oh no! Damn it! Change your overlay on me. Ah, there it is. Uh, but yeah, with like the Raven right here, like th this right here emulates. Th this this is Raven's attitude in real life. Like this is this is a perfect this is a perfect summary of Raven right here. <laughs> and then Happy Gamers that that's uh, that's something he's involved with. And then um, you got the the parody of the Star Wars and everything. So that's pretty cool. I, I like this. I like this. Yeah, no problem, noise. Still Winter Nation! Holy crap! 
Uh, Happy Place Diaries, absolutely. absolutely. Not bored at all. I, I dedicate uh, about four hours Friday mornings to do this. So uh, it's, it's a free-for-all. Still Winter Nation, I tell you what, has, any, has anybody in this chat not seen Still Winter Nation? Has, any, has anybody here not seen that channel before? Because if you haven't, I'm actually going to, I mean, Still Winter Nation, if you don't mind, I'd love to play a few minutes of, of, one, of your, one of your streams. I, I love your work, dude. I, I'm, I'm such a raving fan of, of what you can do on your streams. is unreal. I love what you do. All right. Uh, can somebody do me a favor and drop the link for... Where are you? Where are you? Happy Place? Was that Happy Place? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's not It's not criticism at all. I mean, hell, I, I, I am not a good content creator, so that's why I don't, so I don't talk about content too much because uh, I'm horrible at it. Uh, it's really just guides, you know. It's really... There's really no criticism there, you know. I mean, everybody has their style. Yeah, RV Kiss, yeah, his streams. Uh, uh, Ring of Brown, uh, she's doing good. We actually didn't go through the surgery. We're going to do occupational therapy for a couple of weeks and see how that works. <laughs> Your other personality hasn't seen that. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, drop me a link. I'm going to pull up Still Winter Nation real quick, guys, just because he deserves it. I just love his work. Uh, check check this out. We'll play this for a few minutes and then we'll get on uh, Happy Place Diaries. But I know there are pe there are people here that have not seen this and you need to. It'll change. It. I just recently I just recently discovered him. Uh, I saw him in in Killer Whale's chat, and um, and so um, I kind of was like, okay, I'll keep an eye out for him. And then when I finally um, when I finally saw his stuff. Um, Take a look. That's a talk show. All right, let's play this here. May I have your attention, please? Airline travel sucks. It's cramped, cold, and just plain miserable. Yes, it is. That's why I don't fly very much. I drive. All right, so Jason, we'll, we'll play this for a little bit here, but then... <laughs> <laughs> so this is his uh, one of his live streams uh, and the cool thing is if you guys see the characters on the bottom of this these are actually the people that are watching him and you can fight and you can do a whole bunch of stuff it's really really super neat so let's see here we'll go ahead and oh you do you ride oh there it is there's the ride Okay. Ah. Hey, Mark Lamford, what's up, man? Good to see you. All right, here it is. He's getting ready to do his appearance. Check this out. Here it goes. Ready? Ready? I love it, dude. I love it. A ride and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely to see you this afternoon. Get on your horses. It's going to be a wild ride this afternoon. It seems our troll is back. Well, get him. Get that troll, ladies and gentlemen. It seems we're going to have to put him inside of timeout. He, he, he rides into his show every day, man. Norgus, come on in. It's time to ride these horses. Gabby, come on in. Horse ride. Oh, my machine. God, Go dude. Arcade. Come on in, my fun little arcane friend. Good to have inside of the broadcast. Thank you very much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the start of the show is beginning now. I do not have the longest show inside of the world, but I do have a decent size show. Uh, for those of you who don't know, YouTube has declaimed my channel as not a gaming channel. So apparently we won't be getting memberships. And I spent half the morning throwing my fist around and getting upset and trying to think of ways around these. Yeah, because I love my horses. <laughs> trying to do something about the channel. And I'm going to be figuring it out, but I just don't. So, out of curiosity, so they, they did not put you as a gaming channel, so what's the disadvantage? Um, what's the disadvantage of that? Thank you for the link drops, guys. We're going to pull that channel up in just a second. Well, and hopefully I will just as well. So, it'll be a two-way street. And then everyone will be flooded inside of the streets with whales everywhere, wrecked by uh, hippopotamuses. <laughs> Hippos underneath the sea. Thank you very, very much to the killer whale out there making it happen. I appreciate that, brother. I really do. 
It really does help, and uh, thank you very, very much. Nomad, come on in. Jared and T with his Mrs. B, Mark the Forest, Baby Yoda. I know they're kind of rolling in hot this afternoon, so uh, great to have you inside of the afternoon broadcasts uh, that we typically start about six minutes. God, you do so much crap. It's like, incredible. Uh, a and a half, and that's never fun. So the first thing we're going to be starting things off with is a fun little battle royale. Everybody's oh, going here to, it is. Uh, circle around inside of here it is. Game. Everybody's you're fighting now. Chanting, you're going to be hitting each other inside of the head. Nobody wants to chant anyways. There's a fire in the middle. Baby Yoda, are you ready? Come on, everybody. A time for a battle royale is now. Get off my screen, little avatars. It's time to get inside of an airplane and then jump out of the airplane and see if you make it. Lisa's very excited about jumping out of airplanes. And Marie the Hedgehog <laughs> says, I don't want to get in the airplane in the first place. I just want to speed out and run as fast as I can. And then I'll have a runner's high, and then it'll be a wonderful high. Lurk mode going on. Cam says, I shall not talk. For Whenever you do the lurk mode, I should actually put a timeout on you for like three minutes. Be like, now you're forced to lurk mode. They're like, no, my lurk mode status. There they are. Julie Everybody's the in there kicking each other's asses, man. It's Joe the awesome. Arcade, nomad, unbroken, <laughs> currently ready to explode. He says, not broken, just a disappearing trick. Julie the Clack taking out Mark the Forest to a forest and saying, Clack. Tracy Who's going to be the winner? Oh my goodness, look at this. They yeah, yeah, he does an awesome job. I don't even know what Mark the Forest is down there, but uh, he was some little rat. Julie, you've done it. The Clacken has taken it back in. Congratulations. Big old hype for the Clacken out there. 100 points to everyone else for at least trying. Say hello to my horses who are going away on the screen. Get out of there, horses. This is not feeding. <laughs> We're ready for game time. Once again, it's... Yeah, yeah, TJ. This is this is some of the stuff that if you become like an expert uh, when it comes to overlays, you can do stuff like this. Like it's... Yes. We need more it's a, it's incredible. More it's incredible. This is definitely somebody to uh, to get inspiration from, nice since you're uh, since you're wanting to uh, to start streaming. We're just getting ready to play our very first game for the afternoon, which is called "What Cheese Am I?" We should have been playing it yesterday, but. Um, so that is still Winter Nation, guys. You guys haven't checked that out. Definitely go check, especially if you're wanting to stream. The way he engages with the audience, the way his overlays are, his graphics, the his humor, his personality. Um, he does a great, great, great job. So. Horses, it shall remain. Horses is the entire year. 2020, the year of horses. All right. Next is going to be, uh, where are you? Okay. Thanks for link drops, guys. Appreciate it. I got it. Uh, we have, uh, where are you? I, I can never remember your damn name. I'm such a horrible host. Why do you guys even watch me? Why are you here? <laughs> okay. Who sent you? And for the new people that are coming in, uh, this is Feedback Friday. If you are new here and you want your channel looked at, let Hi, me I'm know. Jerry, Holy crap. Welcome to the happy place. There we go. There there they are. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, yeah, stream, uh, stream, uh, stream elements. Yeah, stream elements. Yeah. Um, sweet. All right. So if you are new here, we got about 22 in the in the chat right now. Uh, if you want to get reviewed, let me know. Uh, priority goes to those that donate and those that are new and everybody else. All right. So looking at this first, uh, this is the, the awesome thing about having uh, social media links is because, boom, like just, just like me, just like other people will, I'm going to follow you right off the bat. So I'm going to connect with you real quick on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Huntress of the Unknown. Hey, Huntress of the Unknown. I saw you on a panel last night and I wanted to join. I was super hungover and I was just on my phone in bed trying to sleep, uh, sleep on my phone and uh, saw you over there. So that was really cool. I, like I said, I wasn't able to participate. I just kind of saw you on the thumbnail and went, oh, that's really cool. They're out there having a good time. I had a great time with that community a couple of weeks ago when I was on a panel. I definitely am going to go over there and do that again. Yeah, I would, dude, I was sucking yesterday. Uh, I actually ended my power networking stream like an hour early. I was just dead i was done i was oh my god i'm not in my 20s anymore that's for sure all right so cool connected with the happy place uh how many people do you have on this page 36 likes 36 likes okay all right happy place diary 372 subscribers 11.7 thousand views with 106 videos first of all branding looks great love it love the banner love the banner 
Uh, great thing on your social media links up there. People can connect with you, learn about you a little bit further. That's also free promotion. Uh, job, I cannot stay uh, and play even though on time is when I get there. Need to go to work. But as I promised, you came by, sir. I have a bell ring. Uh, like 25 and we'll be back. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to building a relationship with you, especially when I go down to Texas. Um, love to get together and go, you know, go catch some fish. Go have fun. All right. So, uh, again, banner looks good. Um, got yourself a little flavor con right here, which is uh, of good branding. So that's great. Um, let's see how you're... 61 follows this uh, this month. Good job. Well, the last 28 days or 30 days. You're, you're averaging. Okay. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. You had a great day uh, on the 21st. Had a great day for yourself. A couple, couple pretty good days for your size. Okay. So that looks good. Let's take a look at the intro video. Uh, definitely plenty of channel tags. Um, again, as long as. Uh, as long as all this is related to your content, there's a lot of, of tags you can get rid of here. Um, there's a lot, and I'm not sure how you tagged this, but with the long, more, less, you get rid of all those, your, keep, All those you can get rid of. I mean, it's not necessarily hurting you, uh, but there's just a lot of clutter. So that would be uh, that would be one, I guess, piece of advice. Thumbnails look great. Looks like you're experimenting with some thumbnails. Let's take a look here. Yeah, well, any any space that you put in on your tags is going to come up as a single tag. Or no, a uh, correction, correction. No, that I misspoke on that. That's not correct. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how that was tagged like this, honestly. Pete, fun. I mean, you keep fun in there, I guess. You can keep dogs in there, but there's a lot of video. Get rid of. So yeah, just a little bit of cleanup. A little bit of cleanup. So, uh, okay, um, take a look at videos real quick. So it looks like you are experimenting with a few things. How long have you been on YouTube now, would you say? I like the thumbs. I like the thumbs. The thumbs look good, dude. I, I like them. That looks like that was done on mobile. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the, I think the consistency you're doing now with the, with the three color, the tri-color, and like the, like the banner type of advertising is very popular. Uh, I think that looks good. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at your intro video. One year. Okay. Hi, I'm Jerry. And I'm Teresa. Okay, Jerry and Teresa. This is the Happy Place Diaries. We're going to get to know them real quick and, uh, and then watch one of their videos. Welcome to the Happy Place Diaries. Okay, so you got your hook, you got your intro. A happy life starts with a happy place. And we found ours in a 2016 Keystone Passport. Editing's great. In our videos, we share our journey of happiness through our trips, our how-tos, and other RV-related content. So come along and join us as we share our happy place diaries. Well, you're editing everything is on point. That all looked great. That all looked great. Uh, you had to call to action at the end. You know, subscribe to me. This is what we do. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at one of these videos. Here.
You never get that at a regular RV show. No, not at all. This oh, video is a spoof a video of RV candy. show reviews. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's fully stocked. A fully stocked pantry. A fully stocked pantry. This RV dealer really loves us, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's, what else we got? Just the bathroom and the bedroom. Huh. More storage. Let's turn the light on. There we go. A nice... Oh look, they've made it look so homey. They've put someone's men's I, men's I like clothes. how the little touches like like the things on the wall and yeah. you and, know. The, and the hanging um, uh, jackets to look like it's lived in. Yeah. Huh say, do you like it? You think we should we should take it? Hey later for the yeah, day. Good to have you, man. For the dead. Good to have you. That's pretty cool. So, let's, I so we're going to check out the uh, bathroom. That's a good sized bathroom, you know. The, sh the shower's plenty big. Hey Dad, are you going to eat these ribs? <laughs> yeah. Hey, and the vendors at this show, they're amazing. Look at that. The guy brought me ribs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on, let me, let me. Oh, wrong way. Hey, Karen Gaming Zone, bro, you came in earlier saying this, and you also keep doing that. Listen, man, if, if you're trying to find success here with anything, uh, begging for stuff is not the way to do it. Uh, you've been spamming the chat earlier, and you're spamming the chat now. If you want to get reviewed, if you want to engage and talk about yourself, that's totally fine. Uh, but begging for stuff, uh, not only is going to turn people off on your channel, uh, but it's just kind of annoying. Um, so again, if you are wanting to get reviewed, you can definitely jump in line, uh, but spend the time to actually talk and engage with people. It's not all about me, 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 me. I need help. Help me, help me. It has nothing to do with that. It actually has to go with what can you offer? What value do you have? You know, what, what can, what can you do for other people? So once you start thinking this, that's why your channel's not doing good. That's probably why you need help and you're begging and everything. So be a real person, talk like a real person, engage with people like a real person and you'll start seeing success. Change your mentality, change your mindset and you'll get there. X Country Adventures, what's going on, man? Great to see you. Great to see you, great to see you, man. Hope, hope you're doing well out there. Um, so yeah, the, the quality's awesome. You have a great template. Um, take a quick look here okay so you have an Amazon affiliate link it looks like so that's good so you're able to monetize that way on uh, this one uh... hey what's up true Lynch welcome back brother all right so um epidemic sound yeah shit I gotta get an epidemic sound license see how your search rankings are at least tires you got that okay uh, so a couple of things How much text is this? Let's take a take a look here. So I'm I'm doing a doing a thing on you real quick here. One second, I want to see how saturated you are. So what is that, about 4%, 4.5%? I'm going to pull up my calculator. One second, guys. Sorry, i gotta, I got to do a calculation on this for saturation. One second. Four and a half percent. Yeah, I was, I was pretty damn close off the top of my head. All right. Hey, Killer Whale, what's up, brother? Good to see you, Killer Whale. Killer Whale has a fantastic community and stream over there. Uh, so your keyword saturation is 4.5%, which the highest you want to be is 3. What's keyword saturation, you ask? Well, I'll tell you real quick here. Okay. So keyword saturation is the amount of keywords that's showing in your description. So you'll be really surprised by how AI actually works. AI is actually going to read what you write and see if it's if it's easy to digest, if it's not too aggressive, it's not too passive, that those good transition words between paragraphs, proper grammar, whole nine yards. And so all of that matters. All of that matters when it comes to your descriptions. So this right here, yes, that's a good sentence. 
This is a good sentence. You have plenty of links. Um, this right here is not really considered a sentence. This is not considered sentences. Uh, this is not considered sentences. And so what you'd want to do is that when you eliminate all this, your keyword saturation is probably going to be about around 8% or so. Um, so what you want to do is you want to add more text. And adding more text is not really super difficult because I know a lot of this is template, right? And you're it's smart. Having a template smart. It, it really cuts down the amount of work that you have to do. Um, but what you want to do is like in this video, right, which that's where you started. I don't know. You have a weird icon right there. I don't see that a lot. Um, my, that, that and I might be a template uh, issue as well. So this really is kind of the only text that you're adding here that's new. All this, uh, all this is, I'm sure, probably repetitive. And so this is, again, this is what you want to expand on. In this video, blah, blah, th th this video is a spoof on RV shows. We've been to so many RV shows, and these are a lot of the issues or a lot of the funny things that we see. We thought we'd put this together for you guys. Uh, today, we're walking in, you know, this particular camper, blah, blah, blah. Just talk about the video. I mean, a lot of people go, well, I don't know what to write in my description. Honestly, I just write what the hell I'm talking about, you know. Now, do people read descriptions very much? Not really, but you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for the AI. You want to give this data to the AI. So I would write, say, two paragraphs about what you do. And again, like I say, with my Power Networking and my Feedback Friday, uh, these are all copy and paste templates that I use for this because it doesn't change. There's nothing unique. You know, it's just the same thing over and over and over. Just I talk about different channels. Now, on my videos, I, use, I heavily template about 60% of the content. So what you want to do... Um, uh, I appreciate you uh, if you tipped my uh, description part. I used it. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so yeah, that's um, so that's what I would work on. And again, you want to make sure that you have your keywords in there, but you're not oversaturated and you're not keyword stuffing. So I would really, really expand on this. Uh, description, yes, it, it, it's, it's a weak spot of a lot of people because honestly, and here, and this is why it's, I guess it's easier for me, is because I'm more of a writer. I like to write. I'd rather write blogs than be on camera. You know, um, that's just that's just my thing. I don't like being on camera. I just it's not my thing. But it's the way of the world. So huh, here I am, right? So. Um, that would be what I would what, what I would really work on. It will help you. And the cool thing is that you can you can redo the text a little bit and you can do blog posts about it. And you can use that data that you put in for, for multiple different things. Uh, but that right there will help. It, it really will help. Uh, another thing. Um, so uh, you got 62 views in this video since the 22nd. Um, you're ranking on one. Oh, this, I'm sorry. I was going to hit this on the description before I move on. Uh, Trump trailer. Show. I'm gonna pull this up. Cool. So you dominate right there. That's good. Okay. So that's very smart. A lot of people don't do this, and you might have done this on happenstance. Um, let me take a look at this because I'm sure this is your tag as well. So I'm sure it's nothing but you. Place, every place, every place, every place. Yeah, you dominate here too. Awesome. So a lot of people don't realize this. So the people in the chat, if you don't know how this works, I'll quickly explain it. Uh, when you put a hashtag. And hashtags are good and bad. A lot of people don't search by hashtags on YouTube. They don't. That's more of a Twitter, Instagram thing. Uh, and Facebook is trying to adapt it, but it's really not taking off that well on Facebook. So when you do a hashtag, these are ways for people to bounce away from your site. But if you're sending them, if they're like, oh, the, uh, the trout, uh, 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 trout, Trout, I'm sorry, Troutdale. Troutdale RV show, they see this tag, they go, oh, I didn't know that was a tag, right? Because they want to see more Troutdale, um, uh, Trout, uh, Troutdale RV show content. Well, if they click on this, it's going to direct them away because this is going to this is going to populate all of the videos that are in that hashtag, all the videos. Since that tag has not been used yet, the only people they're going to see is Happy Place Diaries. So they're controlling their traffic. Even though they're redirecting traffic, they're controlling them to where they're going to go. Now, if you did say like hashtag RV show, right? See how there's all these videos from all these different people on this tag? So... If they didn't dominate this space and they did say hashtag RV show and somebody clicked on hashtag RV show, they would be redirected to the YouTube RV show, hashtag RV show search results. And there's a good possibility that they're not going to be on there.
And so then their traffic is going to watch these other videos from uh, Traveling Buckeyes and RV Lifestyle and, and all these different people. So they're basically sending them to their competitors. And that's what you don't want to do. You want to keep people on your platform as much as possible. Uh, is it important to put keywords in description? It's extremely important. For SEO, it's extremely important. And that, that's what you want to do. So, um, so on again, on tags, um, if you're trying to take over spaces, which you are, because that's your, your hashtag, your brand name, which is Happy Place Diaries, and then hashtag uh, the uh, Troutdale RV Show, you own those tags. And so it, it, it's not going to do any damage to you. Hey, Wilson's on Wheels, great to see you. And let's see here, moving forward. Um, it's a lot of really competitive. And again, like with your with your tags, um, what you what you what you want your tags to do is you want your tags to get you seen, obviously. And these are really. This is considered a poor tag. It's not super bad, but it's poor. Um, it's on the up upscale of poor here. See, for example, so like with travel trailer. Travel trailer, that's a that's a short tail because that's a really specific short tail keyword. Um you're competing against 39.1 million videos. Right? That's a lot of videos. And you're trying to be seen out of 39.1 million. So the the chances that you're gonna be seen out of that large of a video base is is very small. Uh pretty much microscopic, if anything. <coughs> So what I would do is that, yes, you're hitting some of these long tails, or excuse me, one of the, some of these short tails. You do have a couple long tails on here. But you want to do is you want to at least aim to be ranked in about three or four of, ta of your tags, preferably five, um, is what you want to rank. Now, is that always achievable? No, it's not always achievable. Uh, if you get If I get three on a video, I'm happy. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to go in these tags that are considered fair to good tags. So for example, Tampa RV Super Show 2020. So check it out. Even though there's only 140 monthly searches on this, right as of right now, um, you're only going against 3.5 thousand videos. So the possibility that you're going to be seen is much higher, but there's also less traffic. So there's a trade-off between your long tail and your short tail because long tails are typically um, long tails are typically uh, more niche down. They're more specific, and so when people find long tails, they're more they're searching for a more specific thing. If this is like a spoof video, uh, then I would do um, you know funny funny RV review and then whatever RV that you're doing or something like that. And so yeah, there's not a ton of traffic, but again, if you're if there's uh, a million videos that have a tag that you're in there and say if that million videos see if there's a million people that search that if you're not ranking on the top 25 you're going to get pretty much zero traffic and so even even if there's a million searches you're still not getting a piece of that pie now if say there's 3,000 videos and there's say i don't know 300 searches a month on it but you're like the top three ranked you're probably going to get a good percentage of that traffic that comes in with a good thumbnail, good description. So even though you're only going to get, say, maybe, I don't know, 100 views a month on it, it sure beats 0% of a million. It, it beats the hell out of 0% of a million, right? So that's why your long tail, short tail keyword mix is very important. You still want to have that visibility, but you're trying to funnel you're trying to funnel people into your videos by hitting these different tags. And the more tags you put in that's more related, the more the more often that your video is going to come up on search. And then based on the information you have in your description, your keyword tags, the quality, the sharing, the engagement, everything that's on that video is going to help you rank within that niche. And so that's why videos like mine and videos like other people we've seen on the channel that have, you know, hundreds of thousands of videos with the same tags, because they don't hit the other SEO stuff, I can actually outrank people that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers or videos that have, you know, I've beat videos that have over a million views. I beat them when it comes to being, being seen in search 
on exact keyword match. And so all of that's really important. That's what's gonna that's what's gonna make you get more visibility than the people that have huge influence. Because a lot of those people they don't optimize how they should. And that is an opportunity for you to be seen. Uh, Dallas County, thank you for sharing me, man. I appreciate you. Uh, you like, oh, but yeah, more, no, Morning Fame is a great program, still winner. Mo, uh, Morning Fame is a great program. I, I like Morning Fame. I don't know much about it, but from what I've seen, uh, and people that I respect uh, speak highly on Morning Fame, um, then, you know, I, I, I trust their judgment. I, I've seen a little bit of it, but I'm not super familiar with it. Uh, yeah, Milo Money Mind says he's completely dominated Robin Hood Portfolio Challenge. That's awesome. That That's awesome. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to... Let me do a keyword explorer one second. Yeah, and raking on the first page of Google. That's huge. And that's, and that's, dude, if you go and look at Milo Money Mindset's descriptions and his SEO, the dude puts a lot of work into it and it's starting to show. And the cool thing is, is that if he keeps doing it more and more and more, he's going to completely dominate the sphere. And that's what you want. That's, that's called web authority. That's what you're really trying to go. Um, Let's see here. Robin Hood portfolio Is it, I was spelling that right? No. Good thing I got a master's degree because I know how to spell. It might it might not rank. Um I might not be able to see a lot of analysis on it if it's a smaller tag, but let's take a look. Honey and me, what's up? Yeah, web, web authority is huge. It really is huge. Because it, it works both both the same as on, you know, on just a regular search engine as well as on something like YouTube. Because YouTube is a search engine. So check it out, right? So, uh, so I don't have... Um, I don't have how much this is being searched, but you can use other programs to, to look at that. So... Uh, my low money mindset is um, is competing in a in a tag, and this is just one of his tags um, that has a little over twenty nine thousand videos in the tag. But if you go ahead and go to Robin Hood Portfolio Challenge, and again, I take my hat off to my low money mindset. He puts a tremendous amount of work into his SEO. He puts a tremendous amount of work. Like I said, his descriptions are insane, and and he deserves to get the rank. So, for example, say we go ahead and we search this tag. Now, I'm searching it through my browser, which is kind of biased because I'm a subscriber to him. But take a look at the first uh, take a look at the first four videos. That's all my low money mindset. Right? And then and check it out. So actually you know what before I before I get excited for you, let me um let me do this. Let me let me do it the right way here. In case you guys don't know when you use programs like this or when you use browsers, um you need to make sure that you uh, that you uh, investigate or verify your results on uh, on what's called incognito uh, with with uh, Google Chrome because your browsers store your history and so AIs and algorithms try to show you the content it thinks that it wants you to see based on your browser behavior based on activities things that you've watched the whole nine yards so when you go incognito it gets rid of all that so you can see things that don't have a browser bias to it. So what I'm doing is I'm searching him without the bright and see how you see the search results have changed a little bit. But again, 50% of all web traffic goes to the top two results. And this is anywhere. So he's getting the majority of this traffic. I mean, look at that. This video right here almost 400 or over 451 views in one month. He's a smaller channel. That's a good viewed video for him. And that's again, just in one month. Who knows what's going to happen, right? So this is my low money mindset ranks on the top two and then you've got um this guy right here i've never heard of but check this out so here who's showing in the same tag this video has got two hundred sixteen thousand views and my low money mindset's beating him when it comes to being seen on that tag he's beating uh, this video is 186 thousand views he's beating them in this exact keyword match of the search so all of that, uh, all of that is really important. Here's here's my money mindset again. I mean, the only thing that I would do if I was him 
And again, I'm not a content creator, but this is what I would do. Because he's starting to dominate this space, what I would do as him is I would put my face, I, I would change the thumbnail. I would absolutely change the thumbnail. I would still have the graph and stuff associated, but I would put my face up there. And the reason why I put my face up there is, number one, the AI does like faces. It's been proven. There's been studies that have come out. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff that's come out with the AI change on thumbnails. It likes to see faces. Um, second of all, that's why everybody does this. You know, um, uh, on their thumbnails, they're like this. Or they're like this. Or like this. Or like this. Right, like do they do all that stupid ass YouTube stuff? But it works. But that, I mean, everything you see, like they're all the 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 exciting oh my god face, right? It's marketing, whatever. But I'm not saying you need to do it, but it's been shown that that's what gets clicks. So, um, and it's super. I I god the YouTube face dude just kills. I hate it. I hate it. So I I hate it. So I see it in my sleep and it pisses me off. Um. So yeah, I still wear it. goes LOL. But there's the, the difference, right? Like your like your channel's fun and it's happy and it's laughing. I mean, people go, you know, you know, you won't believe what happened today, and they're like, right? And then their day is like they walk their dog, right? Like that's what the video is about. As nothing exciting, nothing funny. They just do it for their thumbnail. It just oh, it's trash. It's trash. Um. But what I would do, uh, again, my limited mindset, is that because of your face and because your channel is your name, like you're the mindset, like you're, you're, you're you know, my little money, right? Um, I would start putting my face in there because you want to build that brand of your face. Plus, you're sexy. So, I mean, you want to you use that to your advantage, too. <laughs> but, uh, but you're going to want to do that because since you're taking over that, that web authority, you're taking over that space, um, that's going to be something that's going to benefit you because when people see more of you, even if it's something that's not related or an exact keyword match, or they're just kind of browsing, they're going to go, Oh, that's, that's, that's my line. Like that's my money mindset. I know that guy. Then they're going to click on your stuff. So yeah, true agents. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. It, and it's bad. dude. It's notoriously bad. Uh, so that being, that being said, um, hopefully that answers some questions on that. Um, yeah, again, your saturation, uh, 33 comments on a video that's been viewed. Uh, where are you? No, there it goes. Uh, 62 views. And yeah, that's great engagement. That's an outstanding engagement. Uh, so yeah, I do some keyword research. I try to rank in some others. I uh, definitely try to rank in some others and I would do more focused long tail. Uh, keep the short tail, keep some of the short tail, but the long tail is what's really going to help you out. Um, you are being suggested, so that's good. Let's see here, what else do I see? Um, do you have a call to action at the end? Let's take a look. Yep, you got your call to action there, so that's good. Call to action is uh, you're, you're recommending other videos, uh, you have a link for people to subscribe, you know, that's that's a good call to action. Other than that, I think, you're, I mean, what, what do you, um, uh, have you placed diaries? What, what do you think is your biggest hurdle? Uh, what do you think is your biggest hurdle uh, about reaching your goals on YouTube? Uh, how many words attack Sarah Longtail? Typically, it's two to three. Um it just, it depends because some tags are, you know, some tag subjects are two letter or excuse me, two character or <laughs> two words. I can't talk today. Um, so that can be considered a short tail, long tail. And I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll see what the standard SEO definition of a long tail is. Um, but I think it's more than, I think it's three or more. I think, what is a long tail keyword? Yeah, they're more they're more specific keywords. Um, they get less surf traffic, but usually have a higher conversion rate. And so again, it just it, it depends on what the what the tag actually is. But long tails are just considered uh, longer and more specific. So, but for me, normally it's three words or more. I'll consider a long tail because that's that's getting pretty specific. If that if that makes sense, uh, 
They open up a lot of homework. Yeah, no problem. It's being found ranking the search. So yeah, description and ranking. Yeah, but again, it's also it's also specific, right? Like, um, the Still Winter Nation. To me, I consider that a short tail, because that's just the Still Winter Nation. That to me is a short tail keyword. Now, the Still Winter Nation is the place to be. The Still the Still Winter Nation has the best streams on YouTube. That's long tail. Does that does that make sense? So there's not really like a like a specific number. But again, like three, like like what a long tail three word would be, say, um, um, funny. Um, I, well, I don't even know what to. Uh, I'll try to use your channel. Um, um, RV. Uh, traveling Yosemite twenty twenty. Traveling Yosemite 2020. So it is traveling, RV traveling, RV traveling Yosemite, whatever. You know, it's just, it's more, it's, it's more, I hope I'm explaining myself right. Cause it's kind of confusing. Um, that would be to me like a three, like a three, uh, three word long tail because that's really specific. You know, um, you can, you can get specific in three words. So that would be considered a long tail. I'm just having a hard time giving examples right now, but hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yes. So yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. A now verb combo. Yes. Yeah, that that would be more that would be more of a specific thing. And a matter of fact, this is the article by Yoast. Um, I actually have Yoast products on my websites. Uh, Yoast is a really good one uh, to find out how SEO works. And this is for websites and, and everything else as well. Uh, but it'll sh it'll tell you, you know, um, kind of how this works. I'll actually drop this. Yoast is a great company. If that, it, that, that might be able to help you out a little bit. Yeah, still in our nation. I'm actually, I'm actually curious about morning fame. If you want to send me an invitation as well, because um, you're not the first person that's asked me about that. So I would like to, I would like to understand morning fame a little bit more. Uh, yeah, the RV community, it really is super supportive. Uh, the RV community, honestly, has been the most supportive community, like like actual niche community that I've met. The RV community is super supportive. They're really good people. Uh, but other than that, uh, so yeah, ranking, visibility, stuff like that. So the big one would be marketing, getting yourself out there, marketing yourself, uh, and getting seen. So I would, I would definitely revisit my tags and descriptions for sure. Um, you can send us an email. I got emails fine. All right. So that being said, um, the floor is now open for anybody else who would like to, uh, get pulled up. So let's do this. Boom. Uh, he explodes, says morning fame was, uh, is free for a month. Uh, then it's, well, I don't know. I stopped, uh, with, cause I didn't want to pay for it. Okay. Yeah. I, no, no sweat, no sweat. And, uh, yeah. And then there, there's, there's a little bit of opinion, uh, from me when it comes to content because content is just not my strong suit. Uh, but SEO, SEO, yes, there's variables. Yes. There's exceptions. You're never going to be perfect at it. It's never going to be the best ever. Uh, but there is a lot of science behind it. There, there, there really is. Doesn't mean that every single thing that you, I mean, every single thing I do, I do isn't a huge success. I mean, um, there are, there are challenges that I have in my channel as well. Um, but, um, I have done, I have done better than, than majority. And I really, really attribute that to my SEO, my SEO, um, works well. Now I am going to be running into some problems in my own channel because, uh, I haven't been doing video content as much as normal. And so streams are kind of taking over what I do. Uh, but I still want to post out the video content. And so I'm curious to see uh, how that's going to affect the visibility of my videos, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of debate of if, uh, if you stream more than you video, because people say that YouTube classifies streams and videos differently, uh, that if you start as a video channel, like I did, and then you start streaming and actually starts hurting your video views. And so that is something that I'm going to experiment with to see what, what I, what I find out.
Andre says, me, me, sweet. Uh, True Legion says, I appreciate you looking at mine as well. Awesome. Okay, so let me write you guys down. Because uh, this will be going on for about another hour and a half, two hours or so. Let me write you guys down real quick and I'll get to you. It just it takes a while to get. It just takes a while to get to these channels of Feedback Friday. Feedback Friday is a, kind of a long thing. Uh, he explained that my streams get more views than my videos. Yes. And that's because YouTube prioritizes streams. My streams get more my streams get more video more views in my videos the first 24 hours uh, and then my videos will overtake my streams uh, typically within a couple weeks. Uh, cool still I appreciate you brother thank you. All right so we've got uh, true allegiance. Um, well, Ravis Ness is because of, it's just because of money, honestly. And I'll, like I said, I'm transparent with you guys. So, so most of the videos that I do have some kind of affiliate link attached to it. There's there's some kind of pro program or product or whichever on my videos, and so my videos make me money. Besides the ad revenue, obviously they make me money because people sign up for stuff, uh, people buy stuff, people do things, and so. It not only makes me money, but also because of ad revenue or thing as well, if this evergreen content, that is, a video to me is an investment that will get hits and will bring me in money slowly, but it'll bring me in money and ad revenue and affiliate signups and everything, basically in theory forever, because an evergreen product never really goes away. It's forever green. It's, it's evergreen, right? So videos are very very important to my business model because they they bring me in passive revenue every day every single day so the more videos that i put out there even though it's not immediately as viewable or successful as my streams it still brings me in money in other ways now streams bring me money in a different way i get donations i get tips uh people come in and subscribe to my channel because networking and stuff like that's very popular on youtube so i get a lot of new faces on my content so that helps me build an audience but my true money maker maker is actually my videos my videos are what's going to continuously make me money over and over and over again while i don't have to do any more work streams take a lot of work Right, and I don't make, of course, I don't make the ad revenue because I only have one ad roll. On my videos, I have at least three ad rolls, right? And if my view duration is good, more viewers are going to see more, more views or see more ads, which can pay more in AdSense. Plus, there's a possibility they'll send it for a product. There are products that I have on my channel that will make me $75 a sale, and I've sold them, and so. Do I add, and that's just one view. That's just one viewer that will buy that. Now, do I make at least seventy-five dollars or more on my streams? Nope. I might average thirty, thirty-five, maybe. Uh, some days I've broken over a hundred. I mean, I've gotten hundred-dollar donations before, you know. Um, but that's a one-time thing. And after a week, my streams typically die, and there's there's just no more activity on it anymore. So they they both play a very vital role. Uh, still when this is a, is a good to upload and stream. I found my live stream subs don't wash uploads from notifications as much. Um, so you know what? Uh, that's a big debate right now. Still winner. That's a big debate. Um, personally, I think that, um, if you are a channel, uh, that has done nothing but videos for a long time and you have a big subscriber base and then you switch over to streams. I just I, I don't I don't know. Uh, I know that there are highly highly regarded people um, that say that you should have a stream channel and a video channel. Now I challenge that belief. I'm going to challenge that belief because I don't think that makes sense. Now I it makes sense on how you what your strategy is. Uh, but do I think that it actually hurts you? No. But but and this is something that's been very um, this has been something that's been very very consecutive by, by a lot of larger more successful streamers, is that they'll say that there's what's called the power of three, and so if you for example do three uploads in a day, that third upload will start taking traffic of your other videos because your other videos don't get promoted as much. But honestly. I just, I need more research. I need to research more before I know for sure. <laughs> so uh, I would just, I would have to look into that because I can't, I don't want to put out information that I'm not 100% for sure on. There's just a lot of myths and stuff that are, that are put out there. 
And so um, I, I'm just I'm just gonna have to experiment with my channel. As of right now, I don't see a lot of a disadvantage of my videos. When I do my streams, it's actually been helping me because people will actually start looking at what my channel is really about. And I'm a business and finance channel. That's what I do. That's what my education's in. That's what I do for a living. And so, um, and so they'll go back and go, oh, this guy kind of knows what he's talking about. I love the videos, so on and so forth. Um, I just think that, you know, like my networking stream, not to get long winded here, but my networking stream is just an opportunity for me to get in front of more people. But my, my true thing is what my content's about. Uh, but then it's also consistency, right? Like I haven't posted a video in almost two weeks, right? My last video I think I did um, was a Motivation Monday video last week. So, and again, if you go two weeks without posting on, on YouTube, um, you're going to have a hard time getting traction back again. YouTube loves consistency. So we're, we're going to find out for sure. All right, later, TJ. Have a good day, brother. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, True Allegiance, and then we had another uh, Andre. Andre McClendon, are you still here? Uh, thanks, Arthur. Yeah, no problem. Have a great day. Happy Place Towers. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you being here. As I like hit my desk and knock everything over. All right, so uh, True Allegiance and Andre McClendon is up. I'm just going to see if Andre's still here. Andre, if you're still here, we'll pull you up, uh, give you a couple minutes, and then we'll go to True Allegiance. Libby's Gamer Pro has something he wants to promote today. Uh, we'll do that on Power Networking. This is more of a channel review. Still here? Cool. All right, can somebody drop me a link to Andre McClendon, and we'll go ahead and take a look and do a channel review quickly. And again, if it was just for video promotion, guys, uh, do that on Power Networking. That's what it's about. Uh, this is people who actually want want their channels reviewed, uh, that have done work or are trying a new thing uh, or are new and doesn't understand how it works. Um, that's really what this is about. This is more of a more of a Feedback Friday segment because it's Feedback Friday. <laughs> and then if you just want video promotion, then yes. Uh, that would be uh, that would be you. Uh, that would be done on Power Networking later today. Honey, me says putting my hand up. <laughs> and me, awesome. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Andre J. McClendon. Welcome to the show. Now, guys, here you go. All right, so this is Andre McClendon, uh, newer to my community. I think we've been around for about a month or so. Uh, I'm not sure if I've connected with you. I think I have, but I'll double check. Um, oh, well, I'm not friended here. So work on that. Um, do I have you on Twitter? Yeah, I thought I was connected with you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm connected with you right now. Pull my porks in the house. What's up? Good to see you. Good morning. All right, so find freedom through wealth. Uh, got your banner there. Um, I would definitely look at maybe getting that sized because uh, this is probably looks good on uh, on mobile, but there's uh, there's always an additional space on desktop. Even though I think it's like sixty or seventy percent of all internet users are now mobile users, uh, that could be something you could take a look in. Uh, looks like you have a website as well. Take a look at your stats. Okay, so it looks like we're still trying to find a little bit of traction here. Uh, how long have you been on YouTube now? Oh, Andre, he's got a, he's got amazing content too. His content's unreal. 
How was your uh, How was your uh, event last night? Pull my pork. You got you do all right. Yeah. See, I have. And that's crazy because I have. I only have like two thousand more views than you. What are you What are you averaging here? Average of 185. Two years. Okay. You had some good stuff happen in the beginning of the year. Had a couple of videos do well. It's a good weekend. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So about two years. Uh, great, great weekend a couple weekends ago, though, man. Congratulations. That's good stuff. Um, we're going to play your intro video to the people that have not seen your intro video yet. You'll be tuning into a channel on business, money, and investing, and all the education thrown in there. And in this channel, we'll be going over um, business interviews also. So if you're looking at starting a company, starting a business, doing some investing, looking at charts, this is a channel for you. So tune in, subscribe, and like, and share. All right, so that's Andre McClendon's video here. Take a look at this last video. Uh, now, I, I have done this channel before. Uh, I have talked to you before. Um, Hello, everybody. This is Andre J. McClendon. Let's see here. I would, definitely, I would definitely hit up a little bit more on your channel tags, especially in the, in the investing sphere. Uh, you can do a little bit of... Um, you can do a little bit of uh, of keyword research on it to to see, uh, but I would definitely put a few more up here. That's more because again you have um, two of these tags are you. Yeah, I would put in like micro cap. Um, I would put in you know programs that you use stuff like that. So I would I would definitely hit in a couple of more tags. Was it? Oh, okay. Um, so that's. <laughs> yeah, Zoe, like her hands are actually like staring at the screen, both ways coming in and out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's definitely something I would hit. Other than that, it looks good on this end. Um, we're going to play that last video of yours real quick. Uh, congrats on hitting 30,000, by the way, man. You're just getting ready to hit 30,000 views. Got about 1,100 more to go. Uh, micro interview uh, listing ads on um, Google Ads and Fiverr to promote your channel. This would be a good video. Uh, I'd be interested in looking at Hello this. Hello, everybody. As Welcome well. to the show. This is Andrew McClendon coming at you guys with a new video. This is I love Fiverr. Fiverr, some good stuff Google here. Google Ads and Fiverr. So let's jump right into it. So, guys, I just completed my Fiverr order, and with this video, I'm just going to show a comparison of using Fiverr uh, promotion versus Google Ad promotion. Okay, for one of my YouTube videos. So I spent about $25 on these uh, orders just to do a video promotion for my uh, one video. This is a video that I chose. It's called Five Ways to Make More Money in the Military. It currently holds tw uh, 73 views, three likes, and about and three comments. So here's my channel before the promotion. 23,000 views, 700. I got 160 videos. Here's my subscribers, 30 day views, and videos. YouTube's been deleting some of my videos here and there, but, you know, so... Nice! Uh, Congratulations! Pull my park! Hell yeah, so dude! Here, here is the Hell yeah! Of, uh, video. The retention rate, watch this, is at 59, okay? And the channel sources, uh, channel pages is 40, other YouTube features 40, and the search is at 20. So... One thing that this I is really, really good that you're doing the analytics on this to show how this works. At 10.9%, 387 impressions, watch time impressions is 0 0.12. All right. So here's some other statistics you guys can look at. Comparables. I got 1.2 watch time hours. Average duration is 57, or up, up to average attention is uh, almost one minute. 
so the majority of people who watch my videos are not subscribers so this is your chance guys to subscribe to the channel uh, this channel is about business money and investing so let's grow together all right so here's me completing the orders here's fiverr.com please check it out it's a good website uh, I will um, I will show you guys the differences on uh, Google Ads, but so far it, it's other stuff that you can do, other services you can get is pretty good. So here's mine after I uh, I did the paid promotion after a little bit. So you can tell if you look at the uh, audience retention rate right here, it went from 59 and to 52. I'm gonna start at 55. Okay, so this is really really important stuff right here, guys. And I'm definitely gonna play this video through for the people that are watching. This is a very common tactic. And it's it's and it's it's cool that he actually is using his own channel as as proof of this. The vast, 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 vast majority of people that do YouTube promotions, especially on Fiverr, a lot of it's bought. And it, I'm just gonna call it what it is because I've gone through and done some studies on this stuff as well. And so a lot of them, they have a lot of body counts, or they'll embed, or they'll do different things to where when they promote your stuff a lot of the subscribers that you get are, are not considered good subscribers uh, or even real accounts a lot of them and if you go to fire they'll say yeah i promise that you'll get at least 50 subscribers and what they'll do is that because they don't want to get banned for for violation of youtube terms of service especially on fiverr because you can't you cannot do bot views and bot subs according to terms of service so what they'll do is they'll give you an average so what they'll do is they'll say like you know if you have a tier one a tier one order they'll send you to a thousand you know they'll promote you to a thousand people real people uh, tier two, they'll send you to 2,000 people. Tier three, 3,000, so on and so forth. And they'll say, on average, on average, you'll get like 10%, right? On average. But if you look at the actual reviews, when people are reviewing, and a lot of them are fake reviews too, it'll say, oh, I did the tier five and I got 50 subs. I got tier five, I did 50 subs. And, and this is over and over and over and over and over again by these different accounts, which goes... And I sat there and I thought to myself, like, you know, it's really weird that everybody who did the tier five got exactly 10% uh, of what they're advertising, that everybody seems to have gotten 50 subs. Everybody seems to have got 30 subs on, thir on third tier. And so, again, and if you look at it, a lot of them are not real subscribers. They're not, right? And now here is another thing that when you become a monetized channel is extremely important, is view duration. View duration is huge. Now, his, his average view duration was, I think, around 28% to 30% on his video before he did this promotion, right? So that is actually considered good. If you can have a view duration on average at about 50%, you're a rock star. You are a rock star at 50%, right? That's an extremely good view duration, percentage-wise of your average video and average view time. So he was at 30%. He was getting there. I mean, even though his video is not very long that he was promoting, he was still at almost 30%. That's really, really, really good, you know, especially for a smaller channel. But here's the thing. The reason why view duration is so important is because, number one, advertisers will pay you way more money because there's a possibility that not only are they going to pay you more because they can roll more ads, but you will also make more money because if somebody's there for, say, if your typical video is, say, 10 minutes and people are there for at least five minutes, you can typically have about two ad rolls, which, which legitimately doubles the ad revenue that you're going to get per viewer, which is astronomical, right? It is astronomical for you, for your earnings. So now his view duration, he slaughtered his view duration. So is that almost a minute? Now his average view duration is 25 seconds, which again, if you look at how the inner workings of YouTube are with the AI, the artificial intelligence and the algorithm, it's showing the algorithm that people do not want to see his work. They don't stick. And so what that shows the algorithm is that his content is not engaging. It's of lower quality and it destroys him in the rankings. Absolutely destroys the video. And so these are all things that a lot of people, they'll fall into this trap that they'll go out there. Yeah, they'll get more views, which is great. But it doesn't matter if you have 100,000 views if people are only there for 10 seconds doesn't matter. Google will not pay you. Your CPM will go down the toilet. You just won't make money. 
You just now if you're all about, you know, if you want to be this channel that has a million views and all that stuff, that's great. That's great. But you're going to make dick. You're not going to make hardly any money, you know. But again, some people just don't care. They care about the number of subscribers they have and they care about their views. I, I was making more money than channels that have 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers. I was making more money than these guys when I was at 300 subscribers. Guaranteed. This is through affiliate marketing and other types of monetization. I, I, I have made, for the size of my channel, I have made decent money. And it's going to continue to compound and get bigger. And a lot of people, they just they, they don't understand there's an actual strategy behind this. So it's really cool that he's coming out and showing their results on this. And the view duration at 25 seconds is not going to do anybody any good. So it's, it's really cool that you're pointing this stuff out. It's a big thing. That external went to AB 2.6, obviously, because they're sourcing it through their channels, or they're, uh, they're sharing it with their people. All right, so it went to AB 2.6. Uh, my average retention rate did go down by a significant amount. Uh, my impressions went up. Uh, Click-through rate, 6.3, so it did go up a higher. My views higher. Uh, YouTube recommended content, now it's at 13%, so it did, it did go higher. My watch time impression hours went lower. All right, so here it is. Uh, at my watch time, I got uh, 23 likes, no comments, and now at, after it went up to 1,700 uh, views, external. So now after that's finished, I did the YouTube, uh, I did a uh, Google Ads. Okay, so here's me uh, placing the five side hustle, five ways to make more money in the military. I'm creating the campaign, right? I did it for the United States only. I did it for $25 a day, just about the same. And here's it going green, all right, enabling it. And I got one subscriber previously, and from here, 25,000, that's from the uh, views up from Fiverr, all right? But after I finished the Google Ads, uh, ads um, you see on the side, my video did so much better for the same or, or even less amount of money. So I get three thousand. I went up to three thousand one hundred forty-eight views. I got thirty-eight likes, a few more dislikes. But what I loved about it, I got so much more subscribers. Yeah. I went from so two ninety-seven to three hundred and thirty-three. So, so far, I, I'm I'm really enjoying the Google Ad. Rev, uh, Google AdSense, in my opinion, is much, much, much better. It, it is a much better way to do. Uh, to promote your channel, and uh, and I haven't seen I haven't seen the stats yet, but I'm sure the view time has done better, the subscribers have been better, and you're going through Google AdSense, and so that's an already a quality control that's put into place. That's not going to be fake channels clicking on you and watching your stuff. Uh, Google AdSense, in my opinion, is about the only way to go. Ads way more than Fiverr. Yeah, I see. My ad, my ad, average retention went back up to point five. So there you go, right? So now that view duration has increased again dramatically compared to where it was. It's doubled from where it was previously. But look at these numbers. Look at these numbers. This is really important, guys. Uh, uh, 50 seconds rather than being at 20, uh, 24. So overall, I would say that the best thing that I liked about uh, app promotion was Google Ad AdSense. So much better, easier, and you know, uh, I would say it, it just... I know that it's sharing it within YouTube, and I don't have to worry about maybe the possibility that on Fiverr they're using robots, which I did do a yep. lot of reading about, just saying that they did use other people who thought they were just Na absolutely nailed it, Andre. Absolutely nailed it. And just liking it. So here's my video, even now more of an update. Let me see. Oh, actually, it's at the end. So guys, that's the video. Please uh, like, share, subscribe. Please, it helps out the, uh, liking the video, helps out the YouTube algorithm, getting this video out there. Thank you guys for making it to the end, and have a nice day. Check out my next video. I'll see you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. See, this is, it is so, it is so cool to see people doing stuff like this that actually knows what the hell they're talking about. And, and I'm a big, oops, shit. Holy shit! Pull my pork! Wow, dude! 
Look at this, listen to this. My newer video, Smoke Salmon, has about 70% view duration and his CPM is $28. I have never heard of a CPM at $28. I have never, I have never seen a CPM that high in my life. Dude, that, foot man. That is phenomenal, Pull My Park. Good job, dude. Good job. And that, again, is why view duration is so important. And that's definitely something that I'm going to continue to work on for my channel. You know, because I'm not the most entertaining guy out there. And, and my editing is non-existent. I barely edit. So, you know, there's always things that I can do to, to, to make it better. And that's something that I'll be working on. But that's, dude, that is incredible work, Pull My Park. Great job. But it's really cool to see... Um, I don't know why I'm not subscribed to you. Here you go. I'm subscribed to you now. Uh, but that's really cool that you're showing the real life and how it works. Google AdSense is definitely the way to go. It is definitely, definitely, definitely the way to go. And uh, great video, dude. Great video. I think that video deserves to be shared and and, and, and get more traffic on it. Um, because a lot of people, they just, they don't understand it. And so when you show the data, I have a lot of people that want me to do like a Google Analytics video. Uh, to teach how Google Analytics works and and how to read the data in the whole nine yards, uh, but that was uh, yeah that that was an incredible video, dude. Uh, full of really really good information, and I'm a big proponent of uh, uh, I'm a big supporter of Google Ads. Google Ads is is the way to go. So uh, let's see here. So uh, Ravis Ness said he heard that the average, uh, that the best length of time is 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, I have heard 10 minutes. I've heard 10 minutes is the golden number uh, that you want to hit. Now that could have changed in recent time. I don't know. Uh, but all of my videos are typically 10 minutes or longer. I, I typically don't go much. I do have some videos that are 18 to 20 minutes, uh, but those are typically tutorial videos that I go that long on. Oh yeah, Pull My Pork has an incredible channel. If you guys haven't seen Pull My Pork, you need to. He's he's got an absolutely incredible channel. Um, now, when it comes to um, How, I mean, Tree Allegiance says ten to twelve. Yeah, yeah, that's about that's about what I've heard myself. Yeah, about about that. I I agree with that. Um, let's see here. I'll give that video a like as well. Deserves a like. Um, yeah, you got quite a bit of keywords on this here. Quite a bit of long tail, which is good. Yeah. Okay. Let's take this. Not bad description. Um, yeah, linking some videos uh, for the backlinks. Got your. Got yourself a disclaimer. Okay. Yeah, um, let's take a look. Uh, what I would do description wise, uh, and a lot of people don't realize this, uh, put your tags in there. You've got a decent amount of text. I would probably, I'd probably increase it by maybe 1.5, maybe two. Just put another paragraph in there. Um, uh, but put these in here. Be able to work some of these in. You wanna work uh, about, eh, about 10. You want to work into your description just make sure you don't over optimize and don't keyword stuff and i don't see any keyword stuffing so yeah um so i would definitely add some of these youtube tips youtube ads stuff like that add them in that description because th this video has uh, has the potential of doing really good has the potential of doing really good this is something that um that a lot of people can benefit off of and uh, I definitely think that if you optimize it a little bit more, you'll get a, quite a bit more traffic on it. Henny Danny Kraus says, pull up for pork barbecue is better than food. I keep telling him he needs to go to YouTube Red. I think that he needs to to put together um, uh, put together a marketing packet and approach YouTube Red and get his own YouTube Red channel. Um, I, I think that I think that he could have a full on legitimate. Uh, cooking channel. I think you can do it. I'm uh, trying to figure out a way to have 10 minutes of content without showing the viewers how I do absolutely everything. I don't want to be a how-to channel. That's, see, that's going to be a tough one for you, Allegiance. 
that that's that's gonna be a tough one, bro. Because you could, uh, I I don't know, man. I mean, I think a how to might be a good option, uh, or you can do like how tos and then something else, and just have how tos as some playlists. Because how tos are one of the best markets to get into on YouTube. Yeah, I, I agree, Handicrafts. You absolutely could do YouTube, YouTube Red. Absolutely. I think it'd be a good option for him. Uh, so, uh, Andre, is there anything else uh, that I can help you with at all, man? Because, uh, again, I, I've done this channel before. I mean, you do have your long tail and everything, which is great. You are ranking in a couple. Again, based on a little bit of browser bias. Um, but I think description is probably your weakest thing, in my opinion. Oh, and there's no call to action. You don't have an in screen. There is no in screen on your video. Uh, put an in screen on there, bro. It's it it does work. I mean, it does not gonna work on everybody, but I have gotten people to watch more of my content on my in screens. There there is a, a decent click through ratio on that. So that's another thing that I would put on, is that, and then maybe in the future you can start doing the green screen. Um, I've noticed that people have enjoyed um, when I'm doing tutorial videos and it's just my head and not my background, and so they can see more of the screen. Um, I've had people compliment on that, and they like that. Yeah, you need yeah, you need a call to action. So at the end, and you don't have to say it. I mean, because you're saying that toward the beginning of subscribing and getting people to be part of your community. Uh, but at the very end, with your in screen, you know, it has the you know a, a link to subscribe, and then it has uh, videos that are recommended for the people. Um, that have watched this content, so you got your auto, you, you you got your auto recommendation, and then you have uh, you know a next video or whichever. Um, those will help you too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Just a suggestion. Um, my green screen's not perfect, but what's nice is that, like on the on the big videos, my green screen's kind of shitty. Um, but on small videos where I'm just a talking head, the green screen works perfectly. I mean, like you guys might be able to see just a little bit of flicker on the microphone on the other side, but because it's so small, it looks really clean. Um, when I when I blow myself up, it looks a little bit differently. Uh, but I, I do know that my audience have have liked it. They they've really enjoyed it. And uh, your sub count last thirty. Oh, that's because you're you're doing the promo. But yeah, I mean you're growing up a sub count. Like you're gonna do well on the platform, dude. You're gonna you're gonna do well. Uh, have no idea how to start. Uh, so that would be we can definitely discuss about that. Pull and perk barbecue. Your biggest things is you want to show what community you have. Uh, the nice thing about like YouTube Red and other things is that they can pull your data and see if you'd be a fit. Uh, but that's, you know, YouTube Red is a, that's a big deal. I mean, I would probably um, start working on other things, uh, other smaller platforms. Um, but marketing pack is, is ba basically how many eyes can you get people's content in and uh, what kind of quality that you have. Because again, with like a YouTube Red, um, YouTube Red, YouTube promotes the hell out of those people because YouTube is trying to take over um, uh, some cable television, other market shares uh, to be a more uh, a more complete platform. Uh, but again, marketing package is basically you're selling yourself. I mean, it's just like it's just like you're selling a business, or you're like marketing a business for business services. You're just doing it for yourself. Um, let's see here, and then pull up person. True allegiance. Uh, don't add fluff to extend your videos. Uh, only use the amount of time to tell your story, the engagement rate, and that's correct. A lot of people do add fluff and they'll lose people. Uh, the nice thing is that what True Allegiance does is that, um, I mean, well, we're actually going to take a look at his video right now because he's up next. So uh, I'll actually uh, talk about him when I have his channel pulled up. So here we go, True Allegiance. Uh, moderators, can I get a moderator's drop? Um, <laughs> Josie Potts says, oh my gosh, I thought I'd never catch this stream. Hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Welcome to Feedback Friday. Good to have you back. Uh, moderators, drop a link for uh, for Allegiance, and we're going to go ahead and get him on blast. Let's do it. But again, good job on this, Andre. Great, great video, dude. Great video. Th this video can help a lot of people, dude. All right. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit while we wait for a link.
Sorry, I'm just making some notes. Oh no! Did my pin just die? Hey, Danny Krause, and Josie Potts, I felt the same. I've now been here twice. <laughs> well, thank you for coming back. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, true, true Legion, that's, that's kind of how it is sometimes, brother. It's kind of how it is. Uh, thank you. We're going to pull this up. All right, True Legion Flag Company. All right, here is True Legion Flag Company, 413 subscribers at 5.72 thousand views. Let's take a look at the About section real quick. Uh, the American flag is a symbol of our beloved country. Many lives have been lost defending it, and these handcrafted pieces are our tribute to those lives. True Legion's Flask Company is American-made, veteran-made in Jackson, Montana. Okay, I'm connected with you. That's good. Black American, American Marines, military, army, air force, woodworking, woodworker. Um, I'd put uh, wooden flags. Um, what what kind of um, kind of equipment you use, stuff like that. I'd put that up there as well. Uh, Missouri, Missouri. I said Montana. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the crazy thing is, is that I went to college in Missouri. I should have known that. My bad. <laughs> sorry, dude. Sorry, I should have known better. Yeah, I went to Columbia College out there. <coughs> um, that's not embarrassing at all. All right. True Leaders Blog, uh, the makeup RN. Okay. So, yeah, I'd add a little bit more to this. Let's take a look at videos here. Well, your how to videos will do the best. Um, uh, but, I mean,. You you want you want to do what you're passionate. You don't want to get burned out. I mean, you're you're already. I mean, you're already doing pretty damn good already. Uh, Four hundred thirteen. Uh, you're almost at six thousand views. Subscriber counts. I mean, you're getting you're getting great gains. All about them gains, bro. You're getting some great gains right now. So your your channel is your channel is very lively right now. Um, I would definitely change around the playlist a little bit. Um. I mean, you're you're so young in, in your in your YouTube career um, that you could really uh, you could really do a lot. One thing, creative wise, this is kind of hard to read. Uh, having the white, the True Legion's flag company, that is really hard to read against that background. So that's definitely something I look at. Uh, is finding a way to fix, maybe like an outline or something like that, so it's clearer. Because uh, for me, that's very hard to read. Serena says, a gamer watch a 10-minute video about a game. It just makes me want to know more because that's not long enough for me. Yes, and it is, it is, it is in, in niches too. You know, um, typically a lot of people will stream gameplay, so it's a long stream. And if they do video game reviews, it'll be within about 10 minutes or so. Uh, so they can hit on key points. Uh, let's see here.
Yeah, I'll pull my pork. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Hey guys, I'm back again with another uh, concealment case. This one is uh, the same standard size that we do. It's 20 by 40. Um, this one is a little different. It's not an actual flag on the front. Uh, they opted to get this design, which I can do any design um, that you would like on it. Uh, so the customer requested this one. It's uh, a dark stain, black paint. It does come with the foam insert. It is cuttable, it's layered, so uh, for easy cutting. It comes with 22 pound struts and the RFID locks. It comes with uh, Keychain fobs and cards. Comes with two cards as well for it. I leave this compartment open for magazines or ammunition, whatever you want to keep in there that you don't want to cut out. There it is. So, <laughs> okay. So, a couple of things. I appreciate that. Uh, Milan Spiel Fortnite. Spelt Speed Fortnite. Um, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the content. I definitely like my subscribers to be engaged with the community. So good to have you here. Um, okay. So first off, awesome. Uh, awesome work. Awesome job. I love your work. I've, I've actually watched several of your videos. I've been watching you a couple of times. And my wife is all about woodworking too. So... You're you are in a unique situation. Now, you have a product that YouTube is a marketing platform for your company, right? Yeah, it's a super nice case. It's a super nice case. So, I don't really think like the average like YouTube like like philosophy is going to work for you. And the reason why is again you're you're like me. So, we, YouTube is marketing for my company too. So that's why, you know, I, I have the services, uh, you know, people are allowed to get a hold of me if they want more services, you know, this is kind of like a, I do some teaser stuff for people to see if they want to contract me or contract my company or buy things through our stores or whichever, right? And so, and so for you, I think that all of your videos that you're doing are really kind of like, like promos for your product. And so you don't need like the 10 minutes or anything else because the reason why 10 minutes is kind of like the, uh, kind of like the number one thing um, is because you get more ad rolls, you get more ad revenue, um, and YouTube tends to like videos that are a little bit longer. Uh, but again, you're not you're not really here for ad revenue, right? Like you're not really here for any of that because that's going to be that's not even going to be peanuts compared to what you'll make if somebody sees one of your YouTube videos and goes, you know what? I'm interested in this. I want to buy this case, right? Because that, that that's really what the motive is behind you, right? Is, is that this is how people can see more of your product. And so your big thing is going to be just getting your content in front of people. These are all just promo pieces of what you do. Now, if you start doing how-to uh, how videos, then it's going to be longer, more in-depth, the whole nine yards. So you'll be looking at it from that because how-to videos, people are going to want to watch to build their own products. They're not going to watch how-to videos to, and they may, I'm not saying all, uh, but they're typically wanting to know how to do it so they can save money so that you don't buy a finished product. So there's two different avenues here. I think these videos and stuff like this, you doing a couple minute videos about the product promotion, uh, I think is great. I don't think you need to make them much longer. You know, like you can do a walkthrough and you can like finish it by like the panning, right? Like you can pan and do like a product overview. You can watch the staining. You can say, this is the staining product that I use. Uh, and you know, this is the, the, how the finished product looks. If you like this, then you can have an affiliate or a sponsorship uh, with some of the staining products that you use so they can buy through you. So you can make a little bit more money because you can do that on your, on your product videos. You can also do that on your how-to videos, monetize it in different ways, sell the products that you use, uh, as well as being able to sell your finished piece. Right. So all of those. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree, dude. I, I, I agree 100 percent with you. 100 percent, 100 percent. You know, so you can do how to on basic stuff. 
um, if you would like. But I mean, you are going to be. And here's the thing. Here, and I'll be real. I'll be real honest with you, bro. Is that a lot of people? Um, I like to give out. I mean. I give out services and I give out information that people pay me to do for them. And on YouTube, I give it away for free. Here's the thing. The vast majority of people will look, they'll, they'll see like the how-to and go, shit, that's really complicated. I'm just going to contract this guy because I don't have the time to do it. Or you'll give them all the information. They'll never actually follow through. However, there is a good possibility that if you do the how-to videos that you could lose customers that just want to do it themselves and your competitors can adapt things that you do that are trade market secrets and be able to create a product like yours and then now you've literally just given ammunition to the competitors so you have to look at it you know here and there i mean what i would probably do is if you're involved in other type of woodworking projects that you don't really sell um, or they're just tips and tricks like today I'm going to show you how I installed the hinges um, on uh, on some of the uh, concealment cases that I use. And so you're not really covering the full thing about how to build the case, but kind of like tips and tricks about the things that you do. And then you can also market your cases or other types of products that you do, you know, um, and not just that, but that's also going to get you in front of more eyes because people could be looking at your how-to videos that are using your methods, but they're using it on different projects. They're not building the same things as you. Maybe they're building like a, like a, a wavy design for something else that has nothing to do with the flags that you make and they'll see the product and see what you do and see that you're offering this free service on YouTube and they'll be more inclined to buy your product because you're the authority like you're somebody that that they trust they like your work they see how you are they see your you know how you are on YouTube and they may buy your product and so um and so these are all things that um that you can take a look at to see if it works um, and again, that's going to definitely take some thinking. I think what you're doing right here is great. This is a great product promotion, uh, which is the purpose of your channel. Um, so that being said, you want to get your product in front of more eyes. And here's the thing. You have no tags at all. You need to add them. You need to do some keyword research and figure out how you're going to add tags so your videos can be recommended and you're put in front of more people. Uh, on top of that, your descriptions, right? Descriptions are a pain in the ass. It does take a little bit of time. So you do have your templates, right? you got your template. You're good to go on that. However, you want to talk about the case. Uh, this case is on one of our standard 20 by 40 inch uh, designs. The the staining that I use is this and this and this. The customer want a custom, you know, a custom staining or, or custom image put on it. You know, we use this process, blah, blah, blah. Just explain about the box. Explain about what you do. Do a little bit of a marketing shill and put it out there. But you want to make sure you have your tags are incorporated in your description as well. That's really, really, really important. Um, so that's going to get you seen by more people. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get this marketing out uh, so people see more of your product, more of your channel. Hopefully they'll subscribe, love your stuff, they'll buy stuff from you or build an, a relationship with you. And all of this SEO stuff is not being done yet. Uh, Honey and Me says more words, more views. Uh, typically, that's correct. Typically, that, and not just that, but YouTube is also going to rank you higher because that's considered quality content. Um, so all of that's really, really important. You have your call to action at the end. That's great. Uh, you put your face in there. You kind of talk about the product. Do kind of a summary on it. That's all great. Uh, SEO is your is your number one thing that you need to work on. On top of that, uh, how do I get feedback? Nice stream, by the way. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how to get feedback here in just a second. Uh, so do you really think, okay, jo Josie Potts, great, great, great thing that you just brought up. Do people read anymore? No, they don't. People don't read. You know, that's why, that's why you have clickbait titles that are out there or clickbait political Facebook posts. And there's extreme outrage because the title, nobody actually reads the story. And the story actually has more information that the title typically isn't pointing out. And that's why we get instant rage that we have instant cancel culture now is because nobody actually reads anymore. But check it out. You're not going for the viewer. When it comes to descriptions, you're not going to target the viewer because people people just don't read anymore. I'm sorry, especially the largest demographic that uses YouTube, which is the millennials and Generation Z. They don't read. They don't read at all. But the algorithm does. The AI does. The AI sees that content and ranks you better. It puts you out there because you're more quality content. So you're really putting the description for the AI to pick you up and promote your channel.
and promote your videos. You know, I get 100,000 plus impressions a month right now at a channel my size, which is considered pretty good. However, more than a half right now of the impressions that, that uh, people see my, my YouTube is by YouTube actually recommending me. I have a very, I have a, a decently high recommendation rate because I play the SEO game. So that's what you're trying to, um, yeah, no, it is. I mean, any anything that you put into the internet, be it blogs, be it any kind of text or data that you put into the internet, the AI, the artificial intelligence and the web crawlers, they have to figure out what you put there. They, they, they have to read it. They have to categorize you. And so data, 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 data. You always want to put that in there. It's very important. It's very important. Uh, Honey Me said, look at the description links. Uh, you say for the description, that's about it. Use it for SEO. Absolutely correct. Absolutely cor correct. Uh, okay, so your tags in the description. So, for example, I'll zoom this in right here. Uh, the video tags appear zero, zero times in the title and description. You want to actually put tags that actually tag your video. Those are a little bit different. Like you have links and stuff in here, right? But these are hashtags. And only three hashtags really even matter. And I'll explain to you the difference of this allegiance real quick here. So the tags that you're putting down here, right, are hashtags as well as these right here. Hashtags, right? Hashtags don't work on YouTube like you think they do. They don't work like that. They work differently for Twitter and Instagram. What tags do, and matter of fact, conceal and all this, where are, where are even those tags? I don't even see those tags. Where are they? Okay, you must have, you must have put these tags right there in the title. Okay. Okay, so it looks like you're confused on tags. So... Keywords and tags on the video, you actually put it during the upload process. There's an actual section that has you add tags. Now, when you add tags that are connected to the video through that upload process, that's what YouTube uses to, uh, to put your video into searchable tags. For example, um, when you go to YouTube search and I search for... Um, uh, the American flag. Say I do that search, right? Well, based on what the video is tagged as for YouTube to classify it, and the description, and the tags, and the engagement, and the views, and all that is gonna is gonna determine what videos are gonna be displayed as an exact keyword match on YouTube search. Because again, YouTube is a search is a search engine, right? So since your video has no tags, YouTube does not really know how to classify the video and get your video visible uh, for people that are searching for your video. Right, so tags are extremely important for you to do. Now, you have the hashtags in here. Hashtags are going to divert people away. So for example, right, hashtag conceal. If somebody tick clicks on hashtag conceal, this is what comes up. You're nowhere around. Conceal is a whole bunch of different things. So these are hashtags that that YouTube also uses. It just it doesn't use it as much as like Instagram and Twitter. So conceal is again a hashtag that you put in your title. What you want to do, and this is the most this is the most effective way to do oops the more ah, stop. Okay. The most effective way to use hashtags is not put them in your title, right? You're gonna put them in the bottom of your description. You'll just do three because YouTube's only going to show three of them. Right, you can show it's showing more because you're putting it in your actual title. Get rid of these. Uh, this is all something that's not going to help your search at all. So a true leisure company concealment case, and you say conceal. Uh, you know, it could be like the the type of wood or whatever that you use uh, that you can put up there as well. People, this is again keyword match, searchable terms, and then you have your hashtags, which will actually display if you do it correctly. It'll display on top here. It'll display on top right here. Uh, for your tags, and then you have your description. All these hashtags are really not doing a lot for you because, again, unless you own it. So if you own the Rustic Flags hashtag, then when somebody clicks on Rustic uh, Rustic uh, Flags, they're going to see you. Now, the reason that you're number one in Rustic Tags, or excuse me, Rustic Flags here is because you put the tags in your title. That's the only reason why you're ranking number one on this. But again, this is, again, sending people away from what you do 
and here's all the guys that are using this tag. But you can see they're actually not using the tag in their title, they're using the tag, uh, they're using the tag in their description, which you'll be able to see right here. When I pull up this guy, for rustic flags, he should, should be tagged somewhere in here. Or in his tags. They do it in his tags. Rustic flag right there. Rustic, rustic flag right there. Yeah, and that and that's what you that's what you should do because because hashtags again, I don't think people most people should use hashtags unless they absolutely own the tag. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, still still going, Haley, still going. Um, so, again, I don't think most people should use hashtags. It doesn't really do a lot, and people people don't organically search hashtags. I mean, somebody's not going to want to say uh, the cutest dog ever. They're not going to hashtag cutest dog ever and search it. On, on YouTube, they're going to search it how they're looking for it. The space, cutest space, dog space ever. Right. They, they don't really it's not like again, it's not like Instagram. It's not like Twitter. But if you're trying to build a hashtag brand hashtag true allegiance, right, then then, yeah, use it and then dominate it. So. That would be. Um, uh, that would be what I would uh, what I would do. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So I just came back and yeah, and it updated just like that. So there you go. So that should help you a little bit on your searching. Right. Because that's what you want to do. So, for example, if somebody, and so also to uh, make your tags uh, search terms. So you can do rustic flags in one word, but I would also put rustic sla or rustic space flags, right? Because your your tags are not tags and hashtags are different than each other. These are tags. These are keyword tags, and so you want to have the spaces there. It want you want it to match what people are searching for. So rustic flags, right? Rustic slash or dash <laughs> rustic space flags. Uh, or you can do um, uh, woodworking uh, woodworking flags or, 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 or something that's longer tail. Like it's cool that you have like uh, flags, woodworker, Marine Corps, Navy, Army, Air Force, Marines. All that's cool, but you're more than likely not going to rank in any of that. You want this to be more about your flags, more about being better known business, stuff like that. All of these stuff, flag, you're not going to rank. DeWalt, you're probably not going to rank. Um, Marines, you're definitely not going to rank. Air Force, you're not going to rank. Army, you're not going to rank in any of these. You, what you're trying to do is set yourself up that you're actually going to rank in a tag, if that makes sense to you. Okay, owning a hashtag. This is what owning a hashtag means. And I'm not going to get on my high horse or nothing, but this is what owning means. Yes, not only are you coming up first, but you're saturated. So, for example, so for example, oh, that's odd. Oh, because of the space, sorry. Okay, so this is the tag Jacob Billet, right? And I, I'm doing some self-branding, so I'm going tag Jacob Billet. So this is all me. Uh, video call and show because he does he does put me he does hashtag heavily. I don't I don't hashtag that much, but I have started doing it. And so this entire tag is me. Everywhere, over and over and over and over and over again, right? So I own that tag. Uh, another one would be um, uh, Build Enterprises, which is my company, right? So again, this entire this entire tag is me. So if somebody decides to, to uh, either hashtag search me or click on one of my hashtags or learn more about me, when they go to this tag, they're not going to see anybody else. It's going to be me or the channels that have promoted me. So I can I can direct them exactly where I want them to go. Uh, if you're trying to brand it, yes. If you're trying and if you want to, you don't have to use hashtags. 
you don't. It doesn't really do a lot of, it, it doesn't really do a lot for you, honestly. But if you want to, uh, then you can't, you know, you can go, you know, hashtag honey and me, right? Honey and me. I mean, you already got it. I just, I just hashtagged honey and me. Uh, didn't find any results for it, but for example, if somebody did click a, a, a hashtag honey and me, here you are. I mean, there's another honey and me right here. Uh, here's this guy, uh, Charles Fernandez, um, and a couple other people. You know, but if you wanted to do that, then you would want to do a hashtag that you own. You don't want to have like your, um, like your channel come up and you're you're talking about. Um, you know, uh, you're, you you hashtag American flag, right? And somebody goes, oh, the American flag hashtag. I want to see what's what that's all about. And then boom, right? They they do American flag, and now they're away from you. You want you want to keep people on your channel and on your website as much as humanly possible because they'll watch more content, they'll get to know you better, you get more ad revenue, you get more potential sales, advertisement, the whole nine yards. Hey, DJ, what's up, man? Uh, hashtag is more of a Twitter and Instagram thing. It, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. But, but, for example, for me, I'm launching the hashtag build army. And so I'm going to have stickers with hashtag build army. Uh, I'm going to have, um, you know, uh, I'm going to have t-shirts with it. I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff. So when somebody goes, oh, I wonder what, I wonder what the build army is, right? So again, because it's going to be hashtag build army. Boom, right? Now, this is all me. This is my Twitter. This is my Facebook. This is my Instagram. Uh, this is my YouTube. Here's my website. You know, there's a lot. Um, there's a lot that's there. And again, it's really all about me. So that's um, that's what I'm trying to go after. Just And again, it's because I'm hashtagging a brand. You know, build army, build enterprises, Jacob Billet, right? And so again, this is going to tie into your Instagram hashtags, ties into your Twitter hashtags, the whole nine yards. And so, and the crazy thing is, is that with this new people coming into power that's older than me and you, Raven, um, hashtags is a big deal. Hashtag this, hashtag that, hashtag whatever, hashtag life, whatever, right? And so the way that people are searching for information is changing. And this allows me to dominate the sphere before it becomes a real thing. Hashtag Jacob is awesome, right? <laughs> so those are all those are all things that you're really wanting um, to to dominate, and it's all about branding. I mean, get your brand out there, you know. Uh, other than that, um, yeah. So tags is definitely what you're going to be looking at. Again, tags tags need to be in searchable terms so you get exact keyword matches. That's really important. Uh, and then you want to have, and then you want to have uh, your searchable terms and everything in your title, in your descriptions, uh, and then you want to make sure that you put in, um, you want to put in your, um, your tags. You actually want to put that in your description as well, and that's going to again give you more authority, more searchability, and better rankings. Yeah, that, that's great, man. That's great. And again, use them. I mean, use your use your tags. You have, if you upload and if you do your work on a computer, you have 500 characters to work with. So definitely put in as many keywords as you can. Don't don't be like, oh, I only have, you know, like for, for right now, and I don't know if this is, uh, if this is all, it could be updating the system right now, but you only have like four or five tags in here. Get way more than that. Maximize it maximize it. And again, you're not going to rank in every one, like not everyone's going to be a slam dunk, but you want to get out there and you want to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, Facebook does use hashtags as well, but it's not very popular. Uh, the Facebook hashtag has, has not done very well for them. But yeah, definitely use it. And again, um, don't don't because you can't you, you don't know anymore. Like you do some keyword research and you'll pop off like fifteen or twenty things you can do really well, and you still have space. Again, don't don't overcomplicate it. You're not going to do it perfectly. Nobody does. You're not going to have the best tags at all times. You're just not going to. However, you can control at least maximizing it and putting as many in there as you can, even if it's a bigger tag because you don't know any better or you don't know of any other ones, right? So at least maximize it. That's at least going to do so. A little bit of something's better than nothing. And then you can always can control that and you can always can control, can control 
how many of your tags are in your description and your description. All of this is within your control. Now, how they rank and how things change and, and search behavior and all that, you're not going to control that all the time. It's not a big deal. At least you're going to give it your best shot every time. And again, yeah, you want to make sure that those tags appear in your title description of your video as well. So... Yeah, and again, you'll. Have, I mean, I would always, you know, work on self branding. But again, yeah, your 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 tags are not always going to be perfect. They're they're not going to be, and tags always change. Search behavior changes. So you could be ranking number one for a couple of weeks, and all of a sudden, boom, you're no longer on the list anymore. That that that's just the nature of the beast. And SEO is there is a science behind it, but again, it's about people's behavior, and people's behavior are they're all over the place. Uh, correct. Yeah, Facebook is losing its market share for millennials. Uh, however, Facebook is still extremely powerful. But yes, um, it is now uh, more of a Instagram and Twitter and TikTok world. That is correct. However, those people are not my target audience. So my target audience is still very much on Facebook. So awesome, guys. Alrighty. Well, I will do one more channel today. So one more channel. Uh, that wants to get uh, have feedback Friday on them. Oh, welcome back, XNL. Welcome back. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, I, I think the I think the key is like between uh, two to three videos a week. I could be wrong, Sinister. I don't know, but I think that's kind of what I've been hearing is two to three a week. Uh, yeah, no, no sweat, dude, no sweat. And like I said, I mean, there is a science behind it. I'm really good at this stuff. I'm not a guru, uh, but, but I'm pretty good at it. And I think a lot of people can do a lot better if they, if they just, if they just knew, um, because SEO, like to, to us that are in business, uh, that do web web dev and, and our webmasters and own blogs and own websites and stuff like that, uh, we, we, we understand it. And YouTube is no different. The big difference with YouTube and what I'm learning on YouTube uh, is the community side of things, the engagement, the views, the durations. I mean, yes, on websites, we have bounce rates and stuff like that. But with video content, it's a brand new element. It's very different. And so there's a lot of learning that I'm doing on it because I'm new to the platform. I'm, I'm very new here. So. Oh, yeah. No sweat. No sweat. Uh, Honey and Me says me. Oh, man. Uh, Josie, those Josie Potts. Josie Potts beat everybody. OK, I'll do I'll do a couple more. Um, I'll just kind of do it a little bit quicker, but I'll, I'll, I'll get you guys. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you, Honey and Me, as well. Um. Okay, uh, can somebody drop me a link to Josie Potts because she was number one? If you don't mind. The official opening for Dark Weld. Ah, oh, man, I'll have to do that on Power Networking because uh, I'll be back on air from 2 to 5 today. So uh, Fridays, I have no life. Friday is a very, um, a very YouTube-specific day, I should say. Um uh, me and Judd jumping up and down with hands in the air. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, moderator, go ahead and drop me a link if you don't mind, and we'll get this we'll get this party started because you guys don't allow me to have a life anymore. Thank you guys. I got the links. Appreciate you. All right, here we go. All right. Josie Potts. Okay. Josie Potts, 595 subscribers. Uh, cool banner. Uh, I'm not the super creative type. Um, so you guys can definitely uh, give your feedback on the banner. Um, you know, there, there's a banner and there's social media links. So that satisfies what I like to see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and follow you real quick here. I uh, got you followed on Instagram here. That's one thing I do need to work on is my Instagram and Twitter this year. Uh, no, yeah, no life. Yeah, yeah. Fr Fridays are no life for me. Fridays are rough on YouTube. <laughs> There's a lot of time on here. All right. Uh, Mike Venduzzi and uh, the Lottery of Life. That's cool that you're connected with him. He's a good dude. I do like him. i uh, get you on Facebook real quick here. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. I I had a life a couple days ago, and uh, I almost died for like a day and a half. All right. I tell you, dude, I was so hungover yesterday. I felt like shit. Oh, I felt horrible yesterday. All right. Uh, Jesse Potts, I just connected with you. Here we go. I sold. <laughs> I Okay, I do have to. I do have to hear this. I do have to hear this video here. Let's do this. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Tw Twitter's been all right. But again, uh, Facebook's my moneymaker, man. I make a lot of money on Facebook. And Twitter, yes, there's ads and stuff like that, but Twitter doesn't really have the demographics that I like. Um, Twitter's very, very political, very political, um, and it just, it's just really not my audience. Uh, but I will work on Twitter for sure because it's gonna help me. You know, it's gonna help me just like with anything else. Um, but it's definitely not my favorite. Platform. Can you imagine this being like the first video on my channel that you see? <laughs> Josie Potts, such an effing mom. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. <laughs> this video is going to be all about selling pictures of my feet. The other day I fell down like a really weird rabbit hole on YouTube and stumbled across all these videos of ways to sell your feet pictures of your feet and a bit of a foot channel people tried to sell pictures of their feet and I definitely wanted to try it so uh yeah we're gonna do that I don't think objectively I have ugly feet but I also don't think objectively I have like really desirable feet and right now I know for a fact they're disgusting I'm gonna show you what happened because of my crush. Oh yeah, no, there's a huge huge amount of streamers on Twitter. I agree with that 100%. Laundry, 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 laundry. More laundry. Unmade bed. Unmade bed. What's happening? And this is what's happening. Okay? So down here on my fitted sheet. Whoops. My heels, I'm assuming, because it's all worn here. Uh, ripped my fitted sheet nowhere else, like over here. Andy Danny Crash says that, that they watch this video, <laughs> but down here where I keep my feet, boom, ripped short. How do you sleep with your heels okay, on? That's crazy. So that's not good. I am doing some major maintenance on my feet, going for a pedicure, and I need them to scrub the hell out of these things, paint them up pretty, make them look ready for a photo shoot. Make them look ready for the county fair. Like we want people bidding on these bitches like they're big fat pigs. I'm <laughs> lonely. I want to talk to the grown up. Please. This has been Jossie Potts saying. Hold on a second. I love your editing and everything. Uh, because uh, because of time restraints, I'm not gonna be able to watch it all. Uh, I will come back and watch it, but I want to see the feet. Or any real maintenance, they are clean, but that is all. Here we go. Oh, the heels are your feet. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Okay. I mean, ignore the cankles, but okay. Let's get beautified. Let's make these puppies picture worthy. So today I am going to be looking for places to solicit uh, people. <laughs> what is the world coming to? This is horrible. Which are pretty adorable. I mean, um, why don't we try Omegle and see how that goes for us? What do I say? Bird. I said for $20, I'll send you one, and then I need like a winky face. Oh my god. I'm the worst. I'm so friggin' weird. He's not typing. Am I asking too much? But like, I kind of hooked him. Like, even though I asked for money and was really awkward and weird, I was surprised that he came back with, like, depends. How much do people sell feed pics for then? I mean, I tried to do my research. He's not trying to offend me. I really kind of think he's nice and want to not, not be mean to him. 
he's got good advice. So he says my approach is good, so not as freaking awkward and weird as I think. Or at least when you're 23, you don't think I'm awkward. Maybe. I should disconnect because now we're just like best friends. I feel bad if I leave because like we're really connecting. I need to move on and make, make a sale and I can't even do it. Maybe we could be Instagram friends today and invite him to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, let's do that. So should we try again? I got feet for sale. It's gonna be my opening line. Oh my this God. Time. Because I don't wanna mess around. I don't wanna spend another 20 minutes. I got, I got feet for sale. I this it's too emotional. It's too heartbreaking. Do you want it? Hello? Hi. Do you like talking? Melissa, prop cherry. We can talk more on chat and debate. What is this? Oh, thank you, Melissa. Oh, they disconnected. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this guy wants a preview. I think that if they ask for a preview, they know they're not going to buy. They're like, I can get by with a preview. They must know that I don't know what I'm doing. Wants a preview. He wants a foot life. tease. Like, if I tell them, or like, is it better if I tell them my real age? Like, I'm like a cougar? Or what? I'm definitely not cool at my age. I can't be like, yo, I'm like 35. Like, me and your mom hang out and have wine in the evenings after you go to bed. Okay, I think it's working. I may have a few bids. <laughs> where where are you where are you doing this? So are you doing like a like a foot like a foot group or something? How like how how did you even get this? And I'll send him a little snap. Um, not my foot. Your radio. Done. Oh god. And send. Is this what the people want? Yes, I Raven, people I listen to you. Okay, it's the toes because they're cute. Is it the arches? Because like, like when I put my feet together, it kind of makes a vagina. Like, is that what they want? <laughs> is that what they want? And then I took a screenshot of the chat. And it told him that. Oh shit, it put that in there. Oh, he knows. He's gonna know. That's creepy of me. Why did I do that? Oh my god. I am too old to be on the internet today. Okay, that's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> so did somebody uh, actually so buy it? Not successful. I have I went to Omegle with my common interest being feet. feet. <laughs> one says I'm priced too high. And the other one, I just took a screenshot of our Snapchat conversation. And he knows that. So, yeah, it's not going good. Okay, so here we are on the final day. Um, basically, I'm just gonna recap for you what has happened on this journey. Number one, Omegle works, but you definitely need to have your line like ready to go, because people will not wait around for you to like spell it out. And the ones who I will. cannot confirm or deny if anyone has purchased them. <laughs> I'm sure putting on a hello. Rude. Rude. That's awesome. That is awesome. Definitely don't. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Josie Potts. Good channel, man. Good channel. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, channel tags, why are Jimmy channel tags? You know better. You got no channel tags. Better fix that, Miss uh, Josie Potts. So that would be number one. Uh, number two, banner, I mean, really, it's up to you. It's up to you how you want your banner. Let's take a look here. I mean, a lot of people do, uh, you know, a lot of people say, like, what their channel's about, like, vlogs, pranks, whatever, um, on their banner. And so people can kind of see what you do and who you are. Uh, no description, it looks like. Yeah. So you need description. Kind of like the same stuff I've been saying to everybody else today. 
Um, so yeah, I definitely need a sub uh, subscription or description. Incorporate these tags in your description. Okay. Uh, yeah, that to to yeah, did I feel like I should ditch the kids. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes, uh, you you could, you could. Um, I mean, if it's more about you and you're more like fun, you because like you're funny and quirky and stuff like that. Um, I would do like you know a funny quirky like picture of you and then like you know pranks and blogs and and comedy and blah 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 blah. Uh, then people would really know like what your channel's about. And so, yeah, again, your description, uh, that's, that's kind of been a, a dead horse all day. Uh, and then obviously add that because all this, all this is not doing anything for you. All this right here, that's not, that's not doing dick for you. So you definitely want to get that going. Um, let's take a look here. You do, you are ranking in a couple, which is good. Uh, no social shares. Like your content should be all over social media. You know, this content, you know, especially as a quirky mom and, and pranking and doing stuff. And I mean, the, the video, like that feet video was actually really funny. It was well put together. I liked it. And so people should be talking about you on social media. So I would definitely mark it there as well. Hey, Danny Caressa, don't feel bad. Josie, all oh, moms want to ditch their kids at some point. Yes, that's the truth. Show the corn videos. Yeah, that'd be funny. Uh, so yeah, so kind of like the typical thing, you can definitely like rewatch this stream uh, if you want to go back on, you know, how descriptions and all that works because um, it's kind of a long-winded thing. Uh, but I mean, it, it, you, you do something a lot of creators do. You'll spend a lot of time with your editing and music and, and you spend a lot of time on the actual content. But then it falls really, really flat when it comes to the back end stuff, the description, the SEOs and everything else. So that's a big one. I was thinking more Facebook mainly because my demographic. Yeah. Oh, I, I would put my shit all over Facebook. I, I, I do anyways. I, I flood Facebook pretty hard and, and Facebook has really helped me in many ways. So and that and then like a pinned comment, you don't have any pinned comments. So say like, you know, what do you what do you guys think about this social experiment? Blah 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 blah. It was so fun. The kids had no idea. Blah blah blah. You know, and and ask an open ended question so people are going to come and and uh, watch your stuff. They're going to see that comment and then they're more apt to actually comment and engage with the content. Uh, open ended pinned comments are open ended question pinned comments are really 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 helpful. They help a lot. So other than that, other than that, um, it's about all I have for you. I like your videos, though. I really do like your videos a lot. All right, honey and me, are you here? And like I said, I'm going to kind of hit these a little bit quick. I've got to eat. I'm freaking starving. And i um, been on for a bit. So... I'll probably keep this till about 11.30 today. So, uh, honey me, if you're still here, you're next. Other than that, we will jump on to the next one. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, hey, no, no sweat. And like I said, I'm not trying to disregard you or anything. Uh, just a lot of this has been a common thing. Um, how, how, were, were you here during the stream while I was talking about descriptions and, and how that works and like your... Uh, uh, the the saturation of keywords that you want within your description or anything else have you um, did you hear any of that because if you haven't uh, it was it wasn't too long ago I think we were doing it on uh, whose channel was it I think it was appreciation or uh, excuse me allegiance and something else somebody else that we hit a lot of that on so um, it's really good info like if you have the time to actually watch this I normally hit the first like three channels really hard. Um, because typically people will be here for a few hours. And, uh, and again, the, the problems are really, really common amongst a lot of channels. It's a very, very, very common problems. All right. Can somebody drop honey and me's link for me, please? And so I, I don't want you to think that I'm just like, like rushing through you. Um, if the information is here on this stream, that will help you for sure. 
Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And you can always come back and, and always ask, too, after you start making these changes, and we can go through it, you know, because uh, you want to, because um, you, I mean, you definitely want to grow. I mean, that's why you put so much time into your work. Uh, thanks, Ravis. I appreciate you, dude. Can you imagine this being, like, the first video on my channel that you see? Holy <laughs> That was, a, that was a really great hook on that video, too. It's a really good hook. Did a good job on that. Your views aren't bad. I mean, your your views your views aren't bad at all, actually. Yeah. I mean, you're averaging over 100 views a day. That's not bad. That's really, that's not bad. So your content is, is getting seen, but with the SEO, it's going to make your content get seen. Because if, you're, if your content is already that engaging without this other stuff, just imagine uh, how much more attention you're going to get with all this other stuff. So that's great. Um, you know, so everybody wants their sub count to go up. Um, one a day is, is, you know, we definitely want to improve on that for sure. I think you killed it in August. August was a good month for you. August was a really good month for you. Interesting. <laughs> Everybody blow me a kiss. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Paul. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Oh, was it the foot video? Oh, okay. <laughs> the foot video. That, that foot video was a good video. I, I really enjoyed that. Honey and me. All right. Look at this channel. Hi, guys, and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan, and this is... Oh, you creative people are just so awesome. You guys got so much more life and and excitement and enthusiasm than I do. I, I love it. I love watching it. Hi, guys, and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan, and this is my little RV named Honey. Today, I'm going to be making a privacy curtain that is going to go between the cab of the truck and the coach. It will not only give me privacy, but it will also insulate from the temperatures in the cab of the truck, whether it's hot or cold, which will help in either the heating or the cooling of honey. This is going to be a really easy project, and I'll show you how to do it right now. If this is your first time visiting with Honey and Me, I invite you to hit the subscribe button down below, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you like it. When I first bought Honey, she had a privacy curtain that went across here, but it was very flimsy material and it didn't offer a lot of insulation or privacy really. And if you were trying to be stealthy while parked on the side of the road overnight, it really didn't filter out very much light. So I knew I wanted to get something heavier to replace it with. And I also wanted to be able to snap it on like the original. Mystics! Mystics says, oh my God, she looks now, like your mom. It's just been a fleece blanket. <laughs> That I've been How you doing, Mistakes? Happy Friday. Here to keep it in place. It's worked, but it hasn't been great. I also wanted to make the curtain so the dogs and the cat couldn't push through it and go into the cab while I wasn't here. What I ended up buying was a very inexpensive room darkening curtain panel from Walmart. And this is it. It's uh, by Eclipse, and this color is called Pewter, which is gray, which is in keeping with the colors I have in Honey. And it is not very wide, but it's wide enough. Excellent quality. Excellent, excellent, excellent quality. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I was um, a little hungover yesterday, so I, I ended a little early and, and got some sleep. I, I slept quite a bit last night, so I uh, feel, feel a lot better now. So the quality and all that, I mean... I've got nothing. I've got nothing negative on any of that. The thumbnail's great. Your intro's great. Your hook's great. It all fantastic, fantastic work. Uh, way better than anything I will probably ever make. Here's another really cool thing too: is that you you are at uh, just under 40 videos and almost at 30,000 views. 
And Mario, you just grab, grab, grab another subscriber live here. Uh, so 39 videos up. Oh, uh, you just got two more subscribers. Um, so again, your views are great, especially on your videos. Uh, and that's because of your approach. That's because of your quality. The whole nine yards. Very, very cool. Uh, Mystics, I'm going to show you to my mom. Her dream is to have a camper, too. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look at that. Another one. You've gotten three subs since you've been here. That's awesome. Uh, so, Mystics, give her a hug for me. Yeah, really sweet lady. Really, really cool. So, I'm um, going to go ahead and take a look at some of the back end stuff. Again, banner and all that looks phenomenal. Uh, production quality is great. I'm going to make sure I'm connected with you real quick. Let me take a quick uh, quick look here. Oh, I'm not I'm not following you, so I'm going to go and connect with you real quick. Okay, your Instagram link is broken, so you may want to go in there and I'll check again, but... Um, okay, yeah. Uh, so your Instagram link needs to be redone. It's not working correctly. Oh, absolutely. Her personality is incredible. A great personality. Oh, that's really cool. So her son's an artist and does banners. Yeah, very cool. Such a creative person. Such a creative person. Very, very neat. Oh, my my kid's name is Zoe. So Zoe and Gracie, well, they're her, her fur baby is the same name as my baby. That's really cool. Okay, so now I'm connected with you. Let's move forward. All right, channel tags, you can definitely, definitely, definitely hit these channel tags. I would put Honey and Me because that's your, you know, that that's your brand. So I'd put Honey and Me up here. Uh, and then I would I would put some other uh, tags that are going to be more associated with your channel at the at the higher level, at the main level. Uh, so you can do you know, you know you got your RV lifestyle. So you got a lot of RV stuff. You can do you can put in travel, you know you can do RV travel or or things things along that line. I'm not super familiar with the community, but I know there's other things you can do uh, that will help you with your channel when it comes to that. Uh, let's take a look at videos here. Yeah, because a lot of people prefer Instagram, you know, so Instagram is a big one to have up there, especially younger people. I'll pull this video up. Hi, guys, and welcome to Honey and Me. I'm Susan, and this is my little RV named Honey. In this video, I'm going to be taking yeah, you there's, on there's a walk ton to the of Mill Historic a site ton in of Port Alberni, British opportunities Columbia. here. This was another site that I visited on my little road trip to Port Alberni this January. The park contains the old buildings as well as the old logging equipment that was used back in the day when this mill was up and operating. So let's head out to McLean Mill Historic Site right now. Okay, so there's the hook, there's the intro, okay. Nice, yeah, quality, yeah, you, you, you kill it. You absolutely kill it. Okay, couple of things. Okay, good. Did, did your tagging? Looks like you did research on your tagging. That's excellent. Should be ranking in a couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're ranking in, in at least three. Okay, that's good. Um, great engagement. Phenomenal engagement. Just out of curiosity here. Got your honey me, okay. Yeah, so you got that tag up there. Oh yeah, cool. A quick second here. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just grabbing some data, guys. Give me give me one sec. I'm sorry, I'm not talking too much right now. I'm gonna pull this up here. Not bad. Hmm. She's actually, she's actually beating a website. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So you, uh, you got that one. Just. 
I'm going to double check one more time here on YouTube. Quick gander here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you got it. Good good for you. Good for you. You destroyed that one. So that's good. Uh, looks like there's... Yeah. yeah, you are number one. And But again, that's also because this is a newer video. Newer videos will typically rank a little bit better. But as of right now, you got the tag for sure. That's all you. Okay, um, a couple of things here. This is something that I talk to a lot of people about, especially if they're travel sites. This is a really big thing that will help you. I've gotten a ton of traffic doing this. All right. I don't even know where the hell that is. Um... I think that is, all right, here we go. Once, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm just grabbing data. It takes me a couple of minutes to pull this up. I'll explain what, I, what I'm doing here in a second. There you are, you sneaky thing. Okay. There we go. All right, cool. So uh, these are things that a lot of travel channels don't do that will really, really, really help you. Really, really help you. So... I mean, your 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 production quality and your your video it, it's it's a professional quality. Like it's it's awesome. Your content's amazing. I'm sure the tour is going to be no less. And so the reason why I brought some of this stuff up is yeah, your tagging's great. Uh, you do want to put a little bit more. I mean, this is still good. Me wrong. This is still good. This is still more than what a lot of people do. Um, what I would do is I would probably double the amount of text that I'm highlighting here and incorporate some of your tags. Now, you have four tags that are appearing in your description. You want to double that. You want to have, I mean, you really want to aim for 10 if you can, uh, but you want to make sure that your actual keywords that you're putting in your description uh, does not exceed 3% of the total text you put in there, or else that's considered over-optimization. So meaning for every 100 words, you only want about three of those words to actually be keyword phrases. The nice thing is, is because you have a lot of long tail. Long tail, you can really work into readable text and that will really, really catapult um, your ranking and visibility on your channel. And, and you're doing really good with your size right now. I mean, I am, I am just about where you want on views. And I have, um, shit, I have more than five times the amount of videos you have out there for the amount of views. Now, my model's a little bit different, um, and I, I monetize in different ways. So views don't really matter. What matter to me is actual sales. And so views are not really a driving force for me. Um, and again, with like with your content, your content's way better than mine. Way, way, way better than mine. You know, and so you should get the views and plus you're in a very niche market. I'm in a very, very competitive market. So again, it doesn't justify anything, but with, with what you're doing right now, like you can explode if you play the SEO game, right? So all that's really cool. But this is something I want to point out to you because some of my best videos are actually travel hotel reviews because as a business person, I spend a lot of time on the road. So I'm like, you know what, since I do, you know, since I, I'm a business channel and yes, I, you know, I do get kicked back sometimes from hotels. Sometimes I get paid and all that good stuff or get complimentary stays, which is also cool. Um, 
that's just another way for me to, to you know, make more money. And uh, again, a lot of people in business that travel, they like to see the reviews because the, the needs of a business person is a little bit different than the needs of, say, somebody that's just traveling. And so a lot, I don't see a lot of reviews uh, on the business side of things, like their business centers and, and connections and, you know, wall outlets and, and stuff like that, you know, which sounds really kind of stupid. But as a business person, I, mean, I bring a mobile office with me. So I, there's a lot of stuff that I need. Right. So incredible, incredible, incredible job. Now let's let's move this thing into second gear. Like let's get this thing like really like we're hitting the performance band, right? Like let's get this thing rocking. So this is what I suggest you doing. Because again, this has brought me a lot of traffic and it really works. Look at that, 830 subscribers now. You're just kicking ass. All right. So wherever you go, especially if you do a tour or a video or whichever, that video is worth money. It's worth good money, especially a video at your quality. And so what you're doing is that you're literally promoting a business for free for them. So let's let's try to monetize this a little bit. So what you can do is go to their website, right? Pull them up. Google reviews and all of that's really, really important. So a lot of people, my wife in particular, she's huge with Google reviews and she's huge with Yelp. Right, that's a big thing for her. She reviews everywhere before we go. She that's just her thing. So you have done a review now. So go to Google and give them a little bit of a review. But here's the cool thing is that when you give a review, you can do uh, you can do some screenshots if you'd like that, that are from your video. There's really no extra work that really needs to be done, but you leave a review. And you go, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I, uh, you know, uh, on my trail this area, I stopped here. Uh, you know, my, my son and me, uh, what we were traveling, we stopped here. It was a great place. And all the places I've been in this area, this place had these, you know, this to offer, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can always feel free to join my journey as I join a uh, journey around the country with honey, blah, blah, blah. And you have pictures of yourself and honey at this place and other types of screenshots. And you drop a link to your video. You can do this. It's not against any, some sites you can't. Google reviews, you absolutely can drop a link. And so now people are going to read your review and go, wow, this chick and her RV travels and goes to all these places, a lot of the places that we've been wanting to do, because a lot of these people are travelers and RVers and stuff like that. So now they're going to want to follow you, right? They're going to want to follow you. So you can use this because you've already done a service to this company and most of the time the the managers if they have any kind of online presence will actually get a hold of you you know and thank you for what you do or they'll put you your review on their website and they'll do other things that's going to get you more traffic so uh, so this would be a great thing for you to do and you can also use a website called Yelp Yelp is extremely popular extremely extremely popular and it's also hooked up to your social media so for you again you write a review you drop a link to your channel saying you know uh you know, you know but obviously you don't want to just promote like you need to add value and so like hey you know we stopped here you know we saw this and this was great and this was great blah 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 kind of talk about what was going on you know um and I, I would start like like Honey and me visited this ball because again it's Honey and me like your like your RV is like a character your RV is like a living thing so you definitely want to promote it like that but again you want to offer the benefit you want to offer the value you did a free service for this company right that's going to get them views that's going to get them engagement and visibility for their business and so then you'll go ahead and do just a, a kind of a passive promotion of what you do and that's huge that's huge. That will get you a ton of traffic. And people that love to travel are going to see your stuff and go, you know what? I'm going to follow this person. This is some good content. And more than likely, the manager will also reach out. Every time I've done this, the manager, be it either a regional manager or an on-site manager, has always reached out. I've gotten a lot of free benefits from it. I've gotten free stays. Um, and I've been offered to be paid next time I go down there to do that. And I'm not a travel channel. Right. But it's something like, hey, you know, as a business person, this is a great spot, blah, blah, blah. And again, it's going to consistently get you more and more traffic on that site. So. So that would that would be something that I would really recommend you do. 
that you will be really surprised. And the cool thing is on these websites, when you pull up your analytics, it'll actually show you the percentage of traffic that you're getting from these sites. And even on even on Pinterest, I get like 7%. And I'm very rarely active on Pinterest. I need to get back on it. I keep saying that every week. Um, but I do need to get back on Pinterest. And Yelp, I get a good amount of traffic from as well. Thank you so much. I'm actually going to be ending here in just a few minutes and, and eat. So thanks, babe. Um, so those th that would be um, some great suggestions for you. And it's, it's really easy. It doesn't take you much time to do that. Let's see here. Uh, where are you? Uh, we got that. We got that. Yeah. I mean, again, the pinning comment. Pinning comments really... Um, is really really important you got you have excellent engagement as it is but that might spur a couple of more people to engage with you when you do the you know uh we we really loved it here i hope you guys like your video what was the favorite part of your video have you ever been i, I like to again ask open-ended questions uh has has any of you any, any of you in my community been here what did you guys think what was your favorite part blah 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 they're all questions and so somebody will will watch this and go down to the comments because I like reading comments. I've always been a comment reader. And they'll, they'll see that you put a pinned comment, <coughs> excuse me, that stays on top of everything. They'll see that and it may spur some more people to engage with you. And then when you engage or when they engage and you engage back, that continues to rank you up because you have engaging content, which is considered quality content. So hopefully, um, uh, so hopefully that uh, yeah, and your engagement's great. I mean, look at that. You've replied to everybody. That's 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 awesome work. A lot of people don't realize how powerful that is. No, no problem, Andy Crafts. No, no sweat at all. So hopefully that helped you guys out today. I am going to go and end this. I do have to eat. Um, but before I do, I, again, I want to thank everybody who's been here. Uh, my average watch time, my channel's almost 19 minutes right now, um, which is awesome. So I really appreciate you guys. That's really been helping, uh, you know, get get my new ventures and stuff um, off the ground. Uh, honey and me, if you have any questions for me, please let me know before I end this so I can uh, go ahead and hit that. And again, if you guys don't know who Mystics is, uh, Mystics, uh, 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 her and her husband are actually very large creators on YouTube, uh, as well as different social media platforms. They're great people. Um, when it comes to resources or any questions that you may have, uh, not even related to the community that they're in, um, they're also a really good resource. I, I highly recommend uh, connecting with Mystics and her husband, MMO Byte, uh, on Twitter as well as on YouTube. You can learn a lot from them. They're, they're really good people. They're very supportive people. Uh, yeah, no, no sweat. Well, and again, I, I appreciate it here. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. You can uh, get a hold of me on various social media platforms, and uh, I'm really glad, uh, uh, really glad this was able to help you out. Uh, handy any crafts? Yeah, watch time is difficult for a lot of people, um, and honestly, one of the best ways to fix that is streaming. Honestly, you know, streaming. Uh, I make between near between fifty to about seventy hours of stream right now. Um, which I mean isn't a lot to, to bigger people, but to just get that watch time going, that that's a good one. Uh, other than that, videos. I mean, to get really good watch time on videos, either something has to go viral, or you really have to play the SEO game. And what I tell people is, I actually tell people to actually watch and monitor their watch time more than subscribers. A lot of people have it backwards. I've seen people that got 5,000 subscribers and still don't have enough watch time, even to get monetized in the first place. And so uh, one of the best ways to, to start combating that is streaming, but you need to have a stream that's actually worth something, you know, and streaming is streaming is difficult. There, there, a lot goes into streaming and it's really awkward when you first started. My streams still suck, but at least they're a little bit better than what they used to be. Um, but I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a camera guy. I just, I've, I've always just been, you know, I just get kind of locked up when I'm on camera. So uh, again, I mean, you can, uh, uh, well, Mystics, we come to watch to, uh, you to get ideas. That's really cool. I, I appreciate that. Oh, Inverted, the Emperor. The Emperor Inverted has entered the chat. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Um, well, I appreciate that, Mystics. Thank you. Um, 
But yeah, and again, it depends. It, it depends on um, from the geek den love stream. But he does it with friends. Yeah, I, I love. I watched your uh, your Star Wars live stream. I thought it was great. You and your you and your guy, you and your friends that you stream with interact really well with each other. It's actually really entertaining. Um, but hey, that crowd says uh, that's what I'm afraid of. I'll probably have to live stream again. I mean, you want to make sure you do what you love to do. And there's a lot of really popular people um, that craft live. And what they'll do is they have like the over, like the overhead camera or whatever, you know, and they have their hands. Like they're not, their face isn't on typically. Um, and they're just kind of crafting and they're just kind of walking people through what they're doing and people can see it live and be like, you know, and then get them engaged. Like, oh, I'm going to do this color here. I mean, what do you guys think? Like, are you do this color or do you think this color would be better? And like, you're showing the stuff and, and whatever. So you're really not doing anything different. You're just talking about what you're doing. And it's crazy. A lot of people love watching that stuff. Um, who's the crafter that I see a lot of? Um, what's her name? Ah, I forgot her name. Um, but she's been on the channel multiple times, um, but she does her crafting live stream. She does it like once a week uh, on Saturdays or Sundays. And there's like 45 people watching her. And she's just, she just doing her thing. She do her thing and she look at the chat a little bit. Go, oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Blah 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 blah. Right, and then she'll do it for a few hours. And then boom, she gets you know, and she gets a bunch of super chats and just people love watching her. And and the big thing is that she 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 brings her community in, and uh, and it's really kick back. It's really easy. There's kind of music playing or whatever, and she just doing her thing. Uh, man, yes, yes, Mandy Mixed Media, yes, that's who I'm talking about. Thank you guys. But um, I love that Jacob Bill. Uh, I met them on YouTube. Amazing communities here. Oh, that that's really cool. Yeah, YouTube. There is a dark side to YouTube. There's a lot of drama, unfortunately. But the majority of people are just looking for a supportive community. You know, and there's I've met a lot. I mean, I I I just had dinner with a guy that I met him and his wife that I met here on YouTube. You know. Uh, Hinda, yeah, she, she is great. She's really good with her community. Her community loves her. And here's the thing, right? Because you're part of that community, people already know you, you know? And so you can you can start that stream and your stream will, like my stream started with like two people, right? And I mean, it's not a big stream. I've, I think the most I've ever had in here was like 35, you know? It's not a big stream, but it's cool. And, and I, I get super chats and donations and people will get a hold of me and go, hey, you know, I, I kind of like what you do. I'm interested in services, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it, it does make money for me. Um, but the cool thing is that a lot of you guys in these communities, you get, you guys kind of already have a base, right? You kind of already have a base. So if you went live, there's a good chance. A lot of the people that watch uh, Manny mixed media, uh, is going to watch you. And so you're already going to kind of start off with, with a solid base because sometimes, especially when I was starting out when I was streaming is discouraging sometimes, you know, where there would be literally no be nobody there. And I'm like, talking to myself and doing my thing, you know, but consistency and keeping it going and keeping people involved. Um, it, it's something that will really help you. And that to me, the majority of the time, that's probably the best way to get your watch time up. Honestly. Yeah, I missed, I did leave my stream live. Yeah, I did. Douchebag. Yeah, it was like an eight, eight, uh, it was an eight hour stream and it was like the ending screen. It got some thumbs down. <laughs> Whatever, like, I don't care, but uh, it was it was pretty funny because uh, we were at dinner and uh, Angela got that text from you and she's like, "Oh, you left your stream." I was like, "Fuck." I'll, I'll get no warm up time. Yeah. Oh, I was super excited to eat, man. It was expensive as dinner too, but yeah, it, it was a good it was a good time. It was a good time. Always busy. Uh, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go stuff my face. I'll see you all in a couple hours for uh, Feedback Friday. So, honey and me, I'm really glad it, uh, it helped out with you. To, with you. Um, and uh, I do hope that uh, that's something that you'll start doing. And the nice thing is that you can actually start doing that on places you've already been to, too. You know, so you don't, it's, it's something that you can build these accounts real quick. And then, boom, I mean, you can advertise all of your videos today. And, and you'll see views go up, like, and you'll see good engagement. So. Oh, yeah, don't, yeah, don't be terrified. Don't be terrified. The Honestly, your communities will be way more supportive than you think they are. 
You know, like I cannot believe that people sit here and watch me do this, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm adding a value, adding a service. But for example, like Miss Sticks. So Miss Sticks, MMO Byte has got what, 215,000 subscribers now? Uh, and like what, 70, like 75 million views? And Miss Sticks has got a larger channel, but she does a lot of work for MMO Byte as well. And so, I mean, these channels together have over a quarter million people that are that are there and well over 75 million views. And they're here. They're they're not here for anything besides to to talk and chat and talk with my community and maybe pick up a couple of things here and there, and uh, and these are huge YouTubers. I mean, f I mean, MMO Bytes a full time YouTuber. That's what he does for a living, you know. And they're in here. And they're part of the community. And they're just they're doing their thing and everything like that. Like that's amazing. And so it still amazes me that they come in here and watch me, because again, I'm a I'm I'm not even a minnow. I'm not even a minnow in the lake of YouTube, right? And so stuff like that, like you will be really, really surprised uh, who's going to support you and, and be there for you. You will be really, really surprised. And it's cool, you know, and I and I am a fan of streaming because I actually get to know people. And if you're yourself, if you're genuine, if you're transparent, if you're doing the right thing, your heart's in the right place, um, it's it, it'll floor you by how many people will be there. I mean, I've, I've gotten, you know, $100 super chats before. So I'm sitting there going... Holy crap, you know, that's, you know, to, to a lot of people, that's a lot of money, you know, and who am I to get that from you, you know, and there's just things like that, like, you'll be really, really surprised. I watched TR the other day, uh, TR show uh, that has a networking show, uh, he's from Jamaica, I watched him get a $320 super chat the other day on YouTube, biggest one I've ever seen on YouTube. Now, I've seen $5,000 uh, donations on Twitch before, um, a matter of fact, it was a $2,200 and a $5,000. Uh, donation on Twitch I've seen before, um, but on YouTube, like it's it's crazy. It's crazy to see who will be there for you. Uh, you're honestly one of the few people that we uh, that actually knows how to help YouTubers. Uh, Sticks 100% agrees with a lot of what you say, and he does SEO. Yeah, and SEO on YouTube, and, and Sticks Sticks is an expert. I mean, Sticks is an expert on YouTube. Like he is, he is a guru in my opinion. And so the what I know from YouTube is from what I've been able to do on other websites uh, based on SEO that's, that is very similar on YouTube as it is anywhere else. Because again, YouTube is a search engine. The big thing and something I'm continuing to learn and involve with uh, is the community aspect. Because the community aspect of it is really what does a lot of work SEO wise that is not, it's not the same on websites. It's, it's very different. And so a lot of the stuff, and that's why I'm always like, because I got, because I do have several SEO experts, like like legitimate experts that come in, Mr. Six being number one, or number or being one of them. And so, and sometimes I have misspoke. Uh, sometimes uh, I have used bad stats, and, and, and everybody does that. And having people come in and go, you know, well, in my experience, it does this, or, you know, the, the latest thing that I saw, or latest research, and they may have just seen recent research, because there's some of my stuff that is still, you know, it could be dated. Uh, ex again, especially with YouTube, that's why I tell people, yes, I'm I'm advanced in SEO, but on YouTube, I'm still learning a lot of the other stuff that's not standard SEO practice. And uh, and so that's really cool to hear that, that he agrees with a lot of what I say, because on the community side of things, he's going to be way more, way more experienced and, and better at it than I am, uh, because I'm still very new here. There's still a lot of little tips and tricks that I'm learning myself. Yeah, TR does have a crazy networking stream. Yeah, uh, him, uh, Tree Trimmer, Island Life, uh, all those guys have, have got uh, pretty crazy networking streams. Uh, Pull My Pork says some communities aren't very supportive at all, but crafting crochet community, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, them and the RV community. I can't stress enough, the RV community is super supportive. Uh, they, they just, every time I see one of their streams, it's just, it, it baffles me. I mean, they, they, they are really all about their people. And it's really cool to see. So, anyways, y'all, I gotta take off. Miss Sticks, thanks for being here. Uh, give uh, give Mister St uh, Mister Sticks a big old kiss for me. <laughs> Maybe throwing a little bit of tongue for me. <laughs> and I'll, I'll catch y'all later. I'll see you guys in a couple hours for Power Networking. So, hopefully, you guys got something out of this. Again, uh, any any suggestions, thoughts, concerns, comments, whichever, leave them in the comment box below or get a hold of me, and I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. Oh, I got a five hundred dollar. Nice, good for TR, dude. Good for him. Good for he's he's good people. He's good people, man. Good for him. 
Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he, he's he's a cool guy. He's he was actually in the Jamaican army. He's an actual soldier. He was a Jamaican soldier, and so I consider him a brother in arms. So very cool. All right, guys, I'll see y'all uh, here in a couple hours. Peace be with you.